It's the Bob and Tom Show. I've decided I'm the only guy in the world that likes the hell out of Prince Charles. Oh, really? You like I want to drink a Budweiser with Prince Charles. Yeah. You think Prince Charles drinks Budweiser? I, if he hangs out with me, he's going to. Yeah. Well, then he won't do either. And I'm positive, I'm positive that Pat Carlini and Christy both despise Prince Charles. Oh, I don't know. Him. Just, a little strange, but no, he's, he's kind of a geek. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's because he's got big ears and he can't dance well. Oh. But the man's going to be the king of England. He's going out with his old college girlfriend, Camilla mm -hmm. Parker Down Bowles, the ugliest woman in England. Uh -huh. <laughs> so apparently he can see past outside beauty into inner beauty, uh -huh. which makes him one of them Oprah Winfrey sensitive types. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. He could be sleeping with every woman in England. That's true. He's going to be the king of damn England. If I was King England, I'd be sleeping with every woman in England. <laughs> I'd be knocking on the door. Fred, go to Home Depot for about an hour. King England, good to see you. How you doing? <laughs> Doug, bring your wife over in a bathing suit. Go with him. Bring me back some pliers. King England, how you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> What's the fun of being King England if you can't sleep with every woman in England? Oh, God. King David in the Bible did that. Remember that? His sure. big sin. He's up on the palace wall. He looks over and sees Bathsheba, the new girl next door, taking a bath on the roof. Uh -huh. Boy, look at the breast on her. Well, it turns out her husband's a captain in your army. Well, screw him. Send him to the front. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Charles, he can ride a horse without falling off. He can ski down a hill without wrapping himself around a pine tree somewhere. Takes care of his kids. Looks good in a kilt. Yeah. And he's got to take crap off his brother-in-law in front of five billion people at one time at the funeral and keep a straight face. Mm -hmm. You know good and well he wanted to reach over and bitch slap that brother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> We hope that the children will be raised the way that Diana wants them raised, as opposed to the way that Charles. I said, hey, 400 years ago, your nuts would be a door knocker on the Tower of London. <laughs> How about you head back to South Africa and run around on your wife some more? <laughs> Sell trinkets at the grave site. <laughs> Get the gay guy back up there and play piano some more. <laughs> I'm going to impale both of you. King England. King England. <laughs> I've heard candle in the wind that it makes my butt hurt. King England. <laughs> I've heard till it makes my butt hurt. I've also heard it made my butt want a cigarette. Have you ever heard that? Yep. Really? Have you heard that one? Menthol. I don't know if brands were in question, but I... I, I, I there's many menthol brands if you want to sail them in your well, car for now. I think my mom said that a lot. Man, that makes my ass want a cigarette. <laughs> you think they get rid of menthol cigarettes? Sure. We're working on it. Yeah, they're trying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, hi. Welcome. It's a party. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. There's Pat Godwin in his... Uh... Hey, Pat, you uh, trying out... It is one of the uh, no, I've got one, it. one of the elves. No, no, I've got it. Chick's got his, it. His third grade picture day shirt. <laughs> it is a that's little bit, uh, that's what nuts, it, man. Oh, it's a, like a it's like a, a, a deep green vest. What the hell? Yeah. With uh, darker green sleeves. I think it looks pretty good. You do, do look like the head elf, possibly on the, uh, <laughs> the older, the older you're the elf. grandpa elf. Yeah, because he's wearing the, the, the white t-shirt. You're the union steward, yeah. the elf. <laughs> then you go. All right, what's the problem down here? These what's dolls going are, on? Be, these dolls aren't going to make themselves. Uh, what are you talking about? You don't have enough hammers? Is that it? You know, have enough hammers? So how do you smoke a cigarette in your butt? I don't understand. I don't. It's just an expression. Hi, Josh. Mean? How are you? Good, man. How are you? Uh, uh, there's a, they're frustrated. There's H. Cosby. <laughs> hey. People are frustrated. That's how they exhibit their frustration. They say things like, it makes my ass want a cigarette. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah the one I never understood was uh, blowing smoke up my ass. Yeah. That, that was an actual... Uh, which technique one? that they would use back in the day. Which one? I'm sorry, I took my headphones off. I couldn't hear you. What? Blowing. They, they would blow smoke up someone's buns? Oh, yeah, they blow yeah, smoke yeah. up It was an actual, yeah, sure. uh, they thought that With it bellows? actually did something. They oh, you mean like, a, a, like if you're ill? <laughs> yes. They would. Wow. Yeah, and it ended up doing nothing. Oh, you get, course, a, you, yeah, so. you get a good smoking. Yeah, I'm, ta I'm watching, the Nick on uh, Cinemax is about a hospital in the, uh, the year 1900. And uh, there's also a uh, London hospital in 1900. Huh. And there's like mercury vapors you're supposed to inhale for migraines oh. and all this stuff. Radiology technicians, their fingers are falling off because they don't know what they've got a hold of. And they know? came up with all the stuff without the internet. Wow. Yes, all they these did. dumbass cures without. Yeah, it, it was word of mouth stupidity. So would they, of would they the take? Would they take a bellows and? That's what blow I just asked. Up, uh, yeah. I don't know. I, how else would you get it in there unless? Uh, <laughs> what the mouth? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, 
that, that, <laughs> maybe that was a popular way. Uh, who knows? Would right? it have to come out at some point? Or uh, I. No. This is a closed system. Isn't this a closed system? <laughs> there were some guys who could blow smoke rings after it was... Uh, <laughs> is that right? I'd pay yeah. to see that. <laughs> I thought it had something to do with the Pope and the white smoke. and uh, I don't They so. all get together and have a big party. That. And no, as wrong. a joke, they blow smoke uh, up yeah. one of their asses. Yeah, hey, you're Pope. Joke. And, you know. <laughs> that was back in the wilder days. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, boy, the Gallic Church, Those 1300s, wild. they went yeah. nuts. Right. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, we have some nice letters to get to here. If you'd like to reach it, how would one do that, Josh? You want to explain that to me? Email us, sure. Uh, Bob and Tom at bobandtom.com. <laughs> we would love to hear from you. Um, now, you want to give me the sports preview? Anything good? Or, or... Uh, we got some stuff. We got uh, Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. Uh, once again, I've been left off the... Uh, uh, evidently, the email for me to vote in this has been <laughs> lost in the mail or something. I don't know uh, what's going on. But uh, yeah, Well, it needs to stop because you've been overlooked far too many right. years in a row. I'm a guy. I, I'm doing this. I yes. need to vote for something. Put me on a veterans committee. <laughs> you know, that's how, uh, what's his face? Uh, yeah, McGuire and Sosa and Bonds, they're going to backdoor this thing into the Hall of Fame. What do you mean? Oh. There are veterans committees that after 10 years you're off the ballot and then you can go to a veterans uh. committee. That's really? how Tony Oliva, one of my favorite players when I was a kid, got it. Hmm. Got how about Pete Rose? Are they never uh, fix that one? His name is, will not be spoken. It's uh -huh. not my fault. Yeah, no, as, as they're installing gambling casinos hey, you know in, the, uh, no. in the stadiums. No, no, no. You blame uh, your little uh, holdover uh, actor's dad for this, okay? Yeah. Bartlett Giamatti, he's the one who said uh, Pete stained the game. How, how does Paul not... Uh, uh, Step up, get no, or get attacked by Reds fans. <laughs> he, probably, he probably does. You think yeah. he every, does every now and again? Yeah, MLB, does, any yeah. MLB fan? Okay, I didn't yeah. know until just now that that was his dad. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the great actor Paul Giamatti's right. dad was Bart. Yeah. I had no idea. He grew up, uh, uh, what? Yeah, Yale um, in New Haven, and it, it's, it's quite the uh, good acting story. school. Yeah. Now uh, we have um, uh, something coming up on uh, unsports related in, in the news. I hope. Yeah, we have a I lot of things coming up on sports related. I wasn't done he with it. Oh, I'm sorry. Give me the preview. I We've can't wait. We've got the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. I'll tell you who got in. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks are 30 and 13, and they fired their coach. Hmm. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. What the heck? Well, they got a metric that we're not aware of yet. Evidently, <laughs> yeah. evidently one, uh, wins and losses does not play a big, uh, big damn deal. Well, he so. flashed the owner's Jeez. wife. What happened? Well, no, I think it's a big, tall guy who's very, very good. Said, uh, uh, I no like him. Anymore. Are you serious? Well, uh, hey, look. Uh, hey, hey, hey. It's not me. Magic did it. Michael did it. Come on. God. The players in the NBA run the show, pal. If Josh right. is my coach and I don't like him, he's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, why not? That's you got to let the star uh, well, shine. Uh, uh, the Raiders <laughs> just, uh, uh, Antonio Pierce is coach because the players said they were all going to ask for trades if he wasn't made head coach. There you go. Yeah. They're doing it in the NFL now, Tom. Uh, fascinating. The inmates um, are running yeah. the asylum. Uh, <laughs> ratings for the playoff games. And uh, we have an interesting story that Tom will love, I hope, fingers crossed, about the referee crew and the Super Bowl coming up. So there you go. Mm. Okay. Oh, to that. Interesting. Uh, got a nice letter here. Yes. About the Pretty show. Sure. Uh, uh, this is kind of a sweet story. Um, my wife found out she was pregnant, and she wanted to uh, find a cute way to tell me. So she had our toddler carry a sign to me that said, Big Sister. And oh. she was recording my reaction. I was out folding laundry. It's very cute. Mm -hmm. I was folding laundry. I was playing uh, the podcast of your show through a Bluetooth speaker. So now we have this beautiful video of my daughter telling me she's going to have a little brother. I'm wiping away tears of joy and hugging my wife. All the while, your podcast is on in the background playing this. Listen outside. <laughs> Listen outside. A little bit of uh, pissing outside, uh, playing in the background uh, of the video. If he liked that, he's going to love this. So he's the father then, right? Uh, <laughs> of course he's Yeah, it doesn't father. say why he was crying. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to say his name. Now I won't. No, I don't think there's uh, any need DH, uh, you know who you are. Thank you so much for the letter. Phew. Congratulations on the... Uh, it's mine, right? Baby on the way. <laughs> um, 
Wow. Well, that'll be a, a, a nice memory for you. Yeah. Years from now, you can play that, and the little boy's going to go, Daddy, is that why we like to go to the bathroom outside? That's go. right, son. It's a tradition started by the Bob and Tom show. So he was folding the laundry, huh? Boy, we know who wears the pants in that house, don't we? Oh, oh the laundry. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Embarrassing, isn't it? I almost said his name there. So sorry. DH. Uh, uh, that's close enough. We can figure okay. it out. Uh, now, we have... Uh, David. Uh, Christy, it's not David. Uh, Christy, what's, what's coming up? Daryl. I bet it's Daryl. It's not Daryl. Daryl Huntsman. It's coming not up. Yeah. Cheesy penis syndrome. I'm Ew. sorry. Ew. Oh, come on. <laughs> Do they deliver? <laughs> which, uh, I'm sorry. Which restaurant is serving this? Uh, wow. I yeah. I was. I had that same reaction. What's it called again? Cheesy penis syndrome. You that's think that's awful. a problem in locker rooms? I know athletes' foot spreads. Right? CPS. Yeah. Oh, you think it could go from one I, to I, another? I, I, they're close, well, close been, quarters. Uh, probably if they were. You want a winner? No. Having, a, <laughs> having some kind of a sword. Thank you for taking the words right out of my mouth. Uh, Camaraderies. Yeah, what's they, called. Do you guys do that? No. no. Yep. Well, they do. Uh, so maybe I don't know. I. You don't never had a sword fight? Uh, no. We used well, to have sword fights in the toilet. With pee? With what? pee. Yeah, yeah. You'd, you'd stand there with your brothers and you'd have a sword fight peeing Yeah, in but the bowl. you guys were also ran around <laughs> totally buck naked. Yeah. Oh, bear man. B-A-R-E man. Yeah. Yeah. You had three brothers, Josh. You never had a sword fight? No. We never We never once thought to bang our penises together. <laughs> never. Not there was once. no banging. There was, there, was, there was the fluid that was... Uh, let me tell you. Oh, oh, you're just talking crossing the streams. Crossing yeah. streams. Okay, I thought, like, Josh, no, I thought you were... No, we still never peed together. <laughs> of course that I can remember. Of course not. <laughs> Tom had his sister teach him how to kiss, too. You know he did. <laughs> He's just not saying it. Well, the most... The, 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 uh, the biggest pounding I think I ever got. My brother was uh, seated. It Listen was, to this. It was yeah. in my. It was. I can remember. It was in the, the the gray tiled bathroom that was my parents' bathroom, the only shower in the house. And John was seated doing whatever one does while seated in a toilet. Poops. And uh, everybody poops. I, I walked in and started peeing between his legs. Weird. In little space. As, as I was going, he, I can remember him saying, "I am going to kill you." <laughs> yes. Because he couldn't move. You see. Sure. Oh. Oh, God, that was... How old were you at the time? Oh, God, sadly, probably, I don't know, 15. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, I, this whole, every time you I told that you were story... Like seven. Yes. <laughs> I thought you were five or six. No, yes. I, the more I think about it, I, I'm not sure, but I... Maybe, maybe, you know what? maybe in, 10, you know what 12. The term oh, in, incest, are you familiar <laughs> with this word? I, I just don't remember these There's things. There's a word because there, uh, it exists. Uh, oh, coming up on today's show, we got some great guests, including Roy Wood Jr. <laughs> uh, Roy Wood Jr., great comedian, is going to be our guest uh, coming up in about an hour. Uh, also, Allie Breen with Sexy Time. But right now, um, if you were listening to the show on your Raycon earbuds, it would sound ah, oh so nice. New Year's finally here, and whether you're making big changes or settling back into a consistent routine, sometimes ruts are good. Chances are you could use some audio accompaniment. Don't you like to listen to music as you go about your day? <laughs> of course you do. The Bob and Tom Show knows it's crucial. A good pair of wireless earbuds is even more indispensable in 2024. That's why you got to go with your Raycon. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever with optimized gel tips that fit every ear ever made. They will not budge. At Raycon's give you eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of ba battery life, and Raycon's are priced just right. You get quality audio at around half the price of other premium audio brands. It's no wonder Raycon's everyday earbuds have tens of thousands of five-star reviews. And don't forget about the awesome uh, uh, features like customizable sound profiles and awareness modes. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's where you need to go. Buyraycon.com slash Tom and get 15% off your Raycon order just because you know us. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. And uh, once again, a personal note, saving my vacation, the Raycon full headphones. Got them for the girls. You get in the car, you get in the plane, they put those on. They've got their video games or their uh, iPads or whatever. And they're oh, heavenly. The, <laughs> they should be called the Raycon Peace and Quiets. I'm highly recommending them for your, maybe there's a little vacation you got coming up for President's Day. Uh, you want to get those Raycon headphones. Uh, Buyraycon.com slash Tom. Tell them the Bob and Tom Show sent you, if you please. Which reminds me, by the way, President's Day, who wants to dress up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. You. You could dress up. You look just like a president. Yeah, you dress up as a president. We'll guess who you are. I don't I think, think I, this is. I think uh, Pat, you could be look like a president. You could. You think? Uh, yeah, I think so. Who? Which one? Uh, yeah, which one? Shave off the beard. Maybe kind of a Harry Truman thing. Harry Truman. What, what do you think? Uh, maybe no? Harry Truman. Yeah. Uh, this is not a thing. It's not caught on. Okay. Josh could be Grant. 
I, I think. Was, I was Grant one year. Yo, yeah, you were a hell of a Grant. I was a hell of a Grant. Yeah. Well, then you could be Grant again this year. I'm not doing it. Ace? No. Uh, Nixon. Oh, well. Only one choice, <laughs> really. I'm sorry. <laughs> now we have to do it. I think Ace is Nixon with the widow's peak nope. and holding up his... Ah, uh, I am... <laughs> oh, oh, God, that'd be so great. Oh. oh, sure, we might get some mail. People just can't take a joke anymore. Oh. Uh, we'll be right back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. It does smell like barbecue sauce. Yeah, there is barbecue sauce. Christy made us meatloaf. I'm terrified. Um, we were we're celebrating Joe Day. Oh, yeah. wait a minute. Now we're we're being uh, it's meatloaf day. Evidently interrupted meatloaf. here. Uh, we have uh, Christy's meatloaf has just been brought into the room. Yeah. Bob. Bob's when, gonna try when, some. Of when the did you make this, Christy? Uh, two nights ago. Two uh, nights ago. Meatloaf is always day. best in the fridge after, yeah, after, after a couple exactly Is there any, are there any fillers days. in this? Any no, fillers? I have, what's your recipe? Can you share your uh, recipe? Yeah, I use uh, ground chuck, some barbecue sauce, a little bit of uh, Italian breadcrumbs, a couple of Is there of barbecue eggs. sauce on this? Mm-hmm. I wasn't listening. Barbecue <laughs> sauce. <laughs> and then I... Uh, so what's the verdict over there, Bob? I, well, it's barbecue meatloaf. I put barbecue and, uh, and? syrup on the top. To I've never, is it I've good never, barbecued meatloaf? Or? Yeah, I've never had barbecue on my meatloaf before. Not yeah. bad? No, it's not bad at all. Hey, I don't thank like you. It. It's not bad at all. Yeah, my kid damning with faint praise. I'm a, <laughs> I can't eat it. I'm a meat intolerant. <laughs> oh, <can't>. Seriously, <laughs> my kids don't eat a lot of this seconds is, uh, in my house. And this they, is very good. This is really a, like a new it. twist to a meatloaf. Yes, I've never had kind of a sweet What kind of barbecue sauce? Well, well, can we get this uh, food show all over the... Like Sweet Baby Ray? Or... Let's, uh, can we celebrate Joe Day again, Let's please? Let's do that. Uh, no, don't is... feed it to me. Here. Eat it. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, it's very good. Thank you. You need to dunk it in ketchup, though. That's the way I eat meatloaf. No, I don't use ketchup in my meatloaf. A hint of dog food. I, just a hint. Come on, baby. Everyone's doing it. But I've never done it before. Your brother tried it and he loved it. My brother? What? Okay. I'm going to turn it on. Ooh, I hope there's batteries in it. Batteries? The Bob and Tom Show. Mornings on 95.7 QMF. Louisville's classic rock station. We should wake up with Bob and Tom every morning. Well, that sounds good to me. No problem here. Get up and get it on. We have Donnie Baker and the Pork Pistols. Now, do you guys have a little tune you're going to play for us? Yeah, we got a tune. This goes, uh, since you was talking to Johnny Rutherford's from Michael and the Mechanics, <laughs> Michael. this goes Mike to, Mike to Christy Lee. There's right. something about you. Yeah. There's something in the air tonight. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Christy Lee, so fire ass hot. This tape is dedicated to her from Donnie Baker and the Pork Pistols on Q95. <laughs> I bet you're not wearing underwear tonight. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and we pray there. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Chill of the night, if you don't wear undies, your booty's gonna get cold. Chill of the night, if you don't wear panties, your body is gonna get stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Chill the night, chill the night, chill the night, night. 
<laughs> Donnie Thank Baker you. and the Pork oh, Pistols. Uh, Bravo. <laughs>
Yep. With a chick's enthusiasm while getting his, uh, he, we had his uh, prostate exam in the room you're in right there, Pat. Well, right here? Yeah. We had a, we had a, a, a very... over the table and Is that where it happened? Yeah. Okay. There was a urologist that came in and uh, he uh, put a glove on, of course. We asked him to go bareback with some ethical standard. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Maybe he had to get his nails done. The, uh, as far as you know, he wore a glove. Yeah, yeah. Here, here's the sound again of Chick uh, during the exact moment. Yeah, yeah. Let's play the, it again. The exact moment. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> he was looking around in there, wasn't he? I would not... Uh... <laughs> I would not be a quiet lover. <laughs> In the gay world, I don't think you were a bottom. Well, speaking of... Thanks for the description. I was trying to clarify it for him. Josh, we... Josh explained all this to me. What are we... Know. Did we're good. Sure, you got to know. When what are we... No idea. After the uh, Bills loss in that heartbreaking fashion uh, on Saturday night, fans all over uh, Western New York and uh, probably now the United States stepped up and donated to their favorite play player's charity. Some fans chose to be critical of Tyler Bass, the kicker for the Bills, after he missed that. But the shelter called the Ten Lives Club. Evidently, Tyler Bass is a cat lover. The shelter received more than $25,000 in donations on Monday, with more than $15,000 coming in through a Facebook fundraiser. It encouraged Bill's fans to not be, don't be critical, donate to our shelter. As of Tuesday night, 10 Lives Club had received almost $200,000 in donations. Wow. Uh, leave amazing. our friend alone. He's a great guy. He's a good Aww. person. I think you should leave him alone. That's Kimberly LaRusa, the PR uh, manager for Tens Terrific Club. That is terrific. And there's a really cool picture of Tyler Bass holding a uh, kitty kitten. Kid? A kid. Well, we have a we have a interesting um, cat uh, cat news sh cat shelter news actually coming yeah. up of all things, hmm. uh, but not related to that. It's no. good news though, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. isn't there a cat breed that looks like a kitten, even if it's an adult? Is that a th that's a thing? I think there that's is. A th oh, really? I'm almost certain. I don't I know. I'm not up on my cats. I would be surprised. Up. Yep, you wait and see. It's one of these things where you're going to go, I Do they stay idiot. like really tiny and no, everything? No, but they look, but their face and everything, it looks like a, a kitten. Huh. Oh. They grow, they get a little bigger, but not much. I have no oh. idea what we're talking about. Well, we'll find out, I guess. Um, sure, there's a cat lover out there. Has there been thank, you, know? thank you for, for, for pulling the car. Yeah. Did, did you hear how fast that happened? He, he adjusted his attitude like that. Bingo. He, he he started with, I have no idea what you're talking about. I hate you. Why did you bring it up? <laughs> right. It started. That's yeah. exactly right. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, we'll find out later. Yeah. Wow. So, it was I'm, amazing. I'm skeptical. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I, I credit you. Thank Don't you cats' faces effort. look like kittens' faces anyway? Yeah. No, no I mean, like, like, much like a like, dog's face. Really, it's, look at it, any it's, Disney It's cartoon. not like my cat looks like a golden retriever after three years. No, no, but it's a, it's your golden retriever doesn't, the, the, hers, their faces don't look the same the as when they were puppies. The perspective is off you tool. Yeah. Okay. You know a how dog's face and a puppy's face, you can tell the yes, difference. Yes, you can tell a puppy from a, buffet, a puppy face from an adult dog face. Right, right. Okay, all right. But uh, their eyes okay. are tiny. Well, um, uh, have there's, has there been an explanation as to why he missed the field goal? Is there any excuse? When was it his back? Or was, uh, was he... Another Sometimes reason. they just miss. Another reason he's uh, <laughs> just asking. Not, not a football fan. It's <laughs> a reasonable question. I I don't think so. Uh, it's yeah. sometimes the girl is right. <laughs> People can be just as upset with the team for not having scored more points other ways. Right. And leaving well, it you know, up I'm not to blaming this guy. the guy. Obviously, he was under a lot of pressure. I was just wondering if there was any if if the ball was wet or right, right. No, I'm. If I'm has a sore toe. Talking more to the people. Did his, <laughs> did his, did his girlfriend text him during the game, dumping him? Um, oh, man, someone call him rough. and tell him his cat had been be run rough. over by a steamroller. I don't think any of that happened during the game. No, it's just as much speculation as chicks dumping about have a their kitty cat phones face. Phones on the sidelines? I sure yeah. hope not. Oh, God, sure do. no, yeah. they don't. Oh, yeah. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> You gotta change your bet. Oh. <laughs> Those prop bets. They are fun. Text and everybody always says, Hey, stands. guess where I'm calling from? The sideline. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Right here on the sideline. <laughs> Do they have those wireless, you know, the phones when I was a kid watching the international? They'd pick, they'd have like hands, like home phones at the time would be on tables. Oh, yeah, on, sure. On the sidelines. And they were all hooked to wires. Oh, I remember that. Have they gone wireless yet? I, that's, yeah, are the, all the phones on the side? I know they talk. Because I remember a few years ago, there was some guy just uh, worrying about where the wires were on the ground the whole time. Hmm. They finally figured that out. There so was one guy on our high school football team, and I don't know why, I don't know how I dodged this bullet, but his, 
he played so little that his job during the game was holding the wire for the head coach in the headset and walking behind him, oh. holding the wire up so he could walk. Oh, man. And he was in full uniform, the helmet, oh. the whole thing, and he's walking around. Very yeah. humiliating. Yeah. Mm. That's important work. Know. I don't know how I dodged that. How was I not? <laughs> oh, because I'm sure they felt you weren't responsible enough to do it properly. You'd be dinking around doing something else. Yelling and, at the coach, talking. Well, yeah. So much for uh, him jerking the car out of the hate ditch earlier. Yeah. You know, you can feel bad for that kid who had to walk around with the coach's cord. Uh, boy, that didn't sound... Uh, no, no, it didn't sound But uh, he eventually invented Wi-Fi, and he's a billion. <laughs> That's exactly uh, right. Yeah. 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 There you go. <laughs> the whole time he was doing that, there's got to be a better way. <laughs> <laughs> Ernie Musk. That was his name when I went to high school with him. Yeah. Little Ernie So Musk. they're all wireless now? They can. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they are. Yes. Yeah. Ace knows. I remember Aaron Rodgers on the sideline with the headset on and talking to the quarterback and upstairs. Mm. Well, they could have done that with a wire. Even back then, they didn't use those Vietnam crank phone things that, <laughs> to call in a bomb strike. I, I don't remember seeing a crank on the sideline. <laughs> yeah. When I was in high school, our coach, Mr. Smith, was a uh, real bright guy, and he he wanted to use computers during the game. He and, was a he was a football coach. Yeah, and he and he was a, a computer nerd. Yeah. What was your record? Oh, our f football team was excellent. But, really? Yeah, but uh, the, it was against. Uh, he actually looked into it, and it was against high school regulations. I'm not. I mean, in those days, it, it, this was pre laptop. And, yeah, I was going to say it would have to bring a. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. <laughs> the computer would have taken yeah. up the yeah. entire yeah. sideline. Yeah, there's, right. there's a van. <laughs> like War Games computer. Right? Yeah. yeah. I don't. I'm Thank serious. You. I was trying to be nice. You know what? I'm going to need some documentation. Yeah, that was no, he was the early. guy. I don't I, believe that. If, if my friend Clint is listening from my class, hey, Clint, He's how a are real you? Clint, all right. He's a, a nice guy. I wish he could be here to beat you up. He, um, Bring it, Clint. He, uh, <laughs> he'll he back me up on this one. Whenever it, Mr. Smith was also a math teacher. Yes. Clint, Clint was my And if, if, if you wanted to get him off topic, which was pretty easy. Because he was a great, a great American. He was a, he was, he'd been in the war and he was, he was in, in World War II. Great, great guy. But you could get him off topic. By doing something like this, Mr. Smith, did you ever use trigonometry when you were firing your gun? No, oh, it was just so great. Yeah, we'd have the weapon on the room. It'd kill, kill a quick half hour. You didn't have to do math for a while. There you go. It was always fun. But yeah, he wanted to bring computers. And now they've got them all. Who would have thought? They, well, they've come a long way. The are you somehow taking credit for the no, no, I'm saying, revolution? I'm, no, I'm just saying it's interesting that now they've got all that stuff, all that technology right there at their, at their fingertips. Um, <clears throat> no, I'm sorry. Uh, were you guys the preppers on the field? That That's what you were? That was the name of the team, yeah. The high school, the preppers. That, that name now has a different meaning. It does? Yeah, yeah sure. A, a prepper now is, oh, like uh, a doomsday is prepper, now a yeah. doomsday. Oh, that's right. Not, you haven't heard those commercials yeah. where you can get you six months of food, water, sure. and ammunition? Yeah. Not ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> Let him let him think I, ammunition. I bet I'll bet it comes with a coupon. <laughs> there may be a, a, like a postcard size thing in the box, yeah, yeah. suggesting another company. Yeah, I, 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 so I, you're I, all set, huh? Uh, How yeah. about I, I, I guarantee it? Okay. <laughs> uh, coming up, we're going to talk with uh, our friend comedian Roy Wood Jr. Roy's on tour. He's got a whole bunch of cool stuff coming up, and uh, he's uh, he's been a good friend of this show for a long time. And uh, he's a good man. He's uh, calling earlier today than we normally. Uh, he has to take his son to school. Aww. He's going to run into school real quick after he talks to us. So, All right. Very cool. Very okay, good. We had a nice chat yesterday with Dusty Slay. Mm -hmm. I, I highly recommend Dusty's um, Netflix special. Working man. That's out there. Getting great reviews. And, uh, yeah, he's uh, he's such a nice guy. He's also on tour. He's going to be stopping by here, I think, in a couple weeks in person in the studio. We return to the sports desk with Chick McGee. Uh, have we missed anything? Uh, AFC, NFC, divisional uh, championship games coming up this weekend, 3 o'clock uh, Eastern. Uh, that one will be on CBS. The Ravens hosting the Chiefs. Kansas City getting three and a half. And the latest line in, this one has ch the line for the NFC Championship game Sunday night, 6.30 Eastern on Fox has changed. The Lions are now getting seven. It's gone up uh, a half point. So there, wow. there you Have go. you made your picks yet? I have. They're up on Instagram. Are you going to change them based on this? I, uh, I, I don't know. I, 
No, because when I it was six and a half when I uh, okay. It was lines, and I took the lines plus the six and a half. So the uh, but the official shoe in of the week will be taking place on Thursday. Special edition of this show, by the way, Thursday. Oh yeah, I was talking about if there is a cat breed that yeah. always looks like a kitten. You mm -hmm. are. This just handed me. There are cats that are dwarf cats. They have shorter legs and they're fully grown, and they do resemble kittens more than adult cats. Oh, I see. But that's not what you were talking about. That's not what I was talking about. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a breed called the. Marmoset or something. A marmoset? Uh -huh, or a vole. I think it might be a vole. <laughs> okay. A vole so cat. Much, <laughs> so much for kitty talk. A cat. As a kitten face. Give me the preview. What do you got? Did Aaron Rodgers sink a hole in one? Well, he said he did on the internet, but people are calling him a bald faced liar. Whoa. Uh, and a Super Bowl story about the referee and crew that's coming up for uh, the big game in Vegas, the Super Bowl 58, that I hope Tom will, will really enjoy. We'll be coming up with that. And also uh, uh, the ratings for the NFL. You know what? What? They're going up. People ah. seem to like the National Football League. Well, also, they, they had a freezing cold weekend almost everywhere. So They liked the NFL and the ratings. Oh, you're saying nobody was, everybody was home watching TV. I mean, yeah, yeah. I think that probably helped a little how bit. How much do they, you they're think? They're very popular anyway. And do you think they'd be able to find out how much, the, what's the Taylor Swift uh, effect on the ratings? Uh, I'm sure they're going up somehow, but. Right, I don't know how they'd measure that. How they would measure that. I mean, they could maybe measure how many 14-year-old girls watched now compared right. to last year and stuff like that. I've yeah. got the, That's gone way up. It has to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, why do they not do a Saturday game and a Sunday game? Why do they, do you think, is there a reason for that? Is it so the teams have more time to prep? Or wouldn't it be here, here we better go. ratings if they had two primetime games? I see what he's saying. Believe no, it or not. not weekend. a Saturday night. Uh, well, definitely not a Saturday, Saturday night. night. No. So you're th you're thinking? I'm wondering. I'm not. I'm not suggesting like Sunday that. night and maybe Monday night or, or something. I, mm. AFC NFC. Yeah, that'd be better. Hmm. Maybe. I, it's always been this way. I, I know that. That's how the tradition. AF, AFL NFL. Yeah, but they, they've been they've been breaking gone. tradition for years. They, yeah. There used to, used so to maybe. be able, they used to only be, show what two games on a Sunday, and now no. you can get them all. No, all the games are always on Sunday. No, no, no. I mean watching them on television. You could get all them the all. games were always on Sunday, and you could watch them on television depending on where you live. The only thing that changed was that you can watch them now anywhere you live. Because of the satellite. Yes. The technology, <laughs> the technology that you deny. And I understand. Because you are a flat earther that believes the moon, well, no, moon walk I just was don't fake. think people are. We could send a monkey up and repair a satellite. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have to be a very special monkey, but still. By the way, speaking of um, zoos and monkeys, et cetera, et cetera, we have yet another update on the swearing parrots. It's mm -hmm. becoming a big story. <laughs> the uh, the cursing parrots that have... Uh, that have uh, <laughs> and what we suspected is, in fact, happening. This is becoming a big story. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let him go. Swearing parrots. <laughs> yeah, the cursing parrots. I would go see them in a heartbeat. That's exactly what's happening. And we're <laughs> oh, going to find out about that when we come back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll-free at 1-888-BOB-TOM-1 or at... People were taking the chicken from Chick Fil A and putting it on Cheddar Bay biscuits. Josh is leaving right now. Josh is leaving. Okay, let's go. 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 Greatest day of my life. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. 
ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Miami, Cincinnati, Boston. I mean, it's. I got you. But no Houston? No Houston. Not Houston. according to this. Houston, Houston, Houston. 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 Hello there, Houston. Hello there, Houston. <laughs> 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 Whatever. <laughs> but he wants me to stop this. <laughs> Don't do that. That's irritating. <laughs> Don't ever make that noise again. I can't make Houston all that noise. If you make that noise. <laughs> 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 no, yeah. <laughs> Stop slide whistling. People can't hear Houston in the load air. Hatbox. <laughs> We're watching a show breakdown. Nervous breakdown. June 21st, 2018. June 21st, 2018. Houston. 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 Okay. And I, I wish we had sit off a, a, a team of men in white in white scrubs come in and drag you off while you're while you're here. Yeah. Houston, hello there. We're going viral. Hello there. Up. Breaking away. Yeah, and then, and then they hey. they inject hello you. There. They inject you with something. 1936. Beatles. That's something. Ah, ah. Ah. Ah, John Candy. Ah, ah. As, as they oh, inject yeah. you, it's Houston. Oh, Houston. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Houston. Houston. Happy summer solstice, everyone. <laughs> Longest day of the year. Oh, my stomach hurts. Seven. Hi, this is Rodney Carrington, and you are listening to Bob and Tom Radio. How many times have you been auditioning for, like, a civic theater production or a Broadway musical or a church show or a school show or something like that, and you had a great audition, you sang a song, maybe you told a joke or two, and then the director comes up to you and says, oh, Great audition, kid, and uh, your resume looks good, but uh, do you know any pig Latin? <laughs> You'll never be caught in this position again if you enroll now in Haji's Academy of Theatrical Arts in Pig Latin. <laughs> At Haji Academy of Theatrical Arts in Pig Latin, you'll learn to act your way through some of the world's greatest theatrical masterpieces, and you'll do them entirely in Pig Latin. Things like Death of a Salesman. Oh, at, yeah, Ime oh, at day. Oh, Old reruns of Hogan's Heroes. Ink clay. Oh, yay, idiot, yay. Oh, yay, ice ray. Enrol J. Orkalter Bay. <laughs> and of course, uh, uh, the classics uh, uh. of Shakespeare. Ute Ibe. Or ye, atne, Ute Ibe. At they, is ye, a ye, eschinque. At the way, a ye, There's still some financial overnay. scholarships Ute available for women aged 18 to 25. Let me teach you to act in big Latin. For more information, write to Haji or phone 1-800-UXHME. <laughs> <laughs> Do it now. <laughs> you don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. You guys want to grab lunch? We can't go anymore. <laughs> That's a cow. good day's work, everybody. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. Which is why Tom likes it. <laughs> hey, you know, something.
people just can't grow up. <laughs> I bought some Twinkies. I bought some Ding Dongs. I bought some hoes and some powdered sugar donuts. I poured some sugar in my Pepsi. I had seven cups of coffee with some fudge. I ate a Snickers bar. I ate a Almond Joy. I poured some sugar on a Milky Way and ate it. And now I'm driving on the freeway. And if you cut me off, I think I'm going to kill you. Yeah, yeah, kill you, kill you. I pulled a booger <laughs> out of my nose. I poured some sugar on the booger and I ate it. Yeah. I'm eating sugar boogers. I'm eating sugar boogers. Yeah, yeah, sugar, kill you. Sugar's good. Yeah, beep. <laughs> <laughs> he beeped there at the end because that was an uh, answering machine, answering wasn't machine message. Message. Yeah. Oh, that. Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. Here we go. Hello, Tom. Thank you very much. Now, we've already had a little bit of a debate here. Um, we, have, we had a tradition on this show of dressing up as presidents. On no. President's Day. No, you came up uh, with it when? We did it twice, right? Three times? Oh, maybe? no, we did it more than twice. That's... Oh, and uh, we have photographic proof. Uh, I think it'd be fun. Oh, uh, well, go ahead. Ace dress wants up. to dress up as Nixon. You and Ace dress yeah, up. Which I, I, and that's that's okay now because I think Hamilton, uh, the stage play, has... Oh, yep. History ma means nothing thanks uh, to that play. Uh, I can see. <laughs> there we go, yeah, see? Yeah. You know Ace can sing. Ace could be Nixon. Um, and I thought that perhaps... I don't know. I think, don't you think Mr. Godwin could do kind of a Harry Truman thing? Sure. Uh -uh. No. Now that you're a vegan, you could have a little thing in your desk. The beef stops here. <laughs> Sorry, like that, uh, for your non-meat eaters out Why there. Why are you up on this again? You know none of us want to do it. Well, I said Josh could be Grant. You said, oh, you no, you did a nice General Grant, then President Grant. That's a million light years away from I'm going to do it again. When is President's Day? February Who 2nd. cares? Mm. It's a nice weekend for some. They get to go on a little trip. Uh, Christy Lee, of course, famous for her Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, that won't be happening. Did... <laughs> wow. What a lack you of cooperation. You go, girl. You stick to your guns. Uh, okay, well, uh, we need to get back to the sports desk with Chick McGee. What's happening over there? Oh. Well. February 19th is President's Day, just so you mark oh. that on your calendar. All right. In case you missed it, Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers played his first round of golf. Since undergoing surgery for a torn Achilles, suffered week one of the NFL season after three plays. Ah, that's a shame. The miracle shot, supposedly, it says here, occurred on the 17th at Shadow Creek Golf Course in Las Vegas during a round with Jets offensive lineman Max Mitchell, Chris Glazer, and Connor McGovern. Hmm. According to the, uh, the caption on Aaron's Instagram, O-line trip, first round, post-surgery, Las Vegas, Shadow Creek, number 17. Let's take a photo, boys, hole in one. However, there are more than one or two people saying, we need a video of you sinking the hole in one. Well, that's ridiculous. Of course oh, it is. There's no way. Of course it is. The actual shot, there's no photographic evidence of the actual shot. Well, they have him walking up and... Well, why would there be? They have, yeah. they have video of him after he's hit the shot. Oh, my gosh, I hit a hole in one. They yeah. have that, of course. And three witnesses. Right. And, and But they're, they're, they are me. offensive linemen. They would lie for a quarterback. Well, you do. They yeah, that is much part of the deal. So. Yeah. Would they really? Oh, yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> Maybe they would. Yeah, yeah. But, um, <clears throat> and then he goes up and gets the ball out of the hole, but people are losing their minds saying he's, he's oh, you can't trust Aaron Rodgers. Oh, for God's Rogers. sake, people. Well, that's, that's just people. Online. Uh, that's just, I should, I take that back. That's just, that's just social media people. That, yeah. Yeah, 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 in general, you could have a uh, photographic proof with the Pope as a witness and people would say it was faked. Haters well, I would probably hate. say that was fake because that sounds like the work of AI to me. But uh... yeah, that's the thing. I'm just, <laughs> there's nothing you can do anymore that people are going to. If people don't want to believe it, they're not going to believe it, no matter what it is. Well, I for one hope he's not lying. That, that seems to me to be uh, breaking the honor of the course, if you will. Sure. There's got to be a code, right? No, there's I'm pretty sure it's called the honor of the course. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think you're right on that. And, I, I remember uh, when we did an experiment trying to with a with a hole in one. Uh, this is what happened. It's in the hole. Uh, that was oh, Chick yeah. McGee, famously when uh, Fuzzy Zeller was on our show, hit a hole in one. Mm -hmm. It's in the hole. Mm -hmm. 
And speaking of the internet, the Dallas Cowboys 23-24 season came crashing to a halt. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> they beat the, the Packers got 48-32. That means despite a 12-5 and record, NFC East title, the Cowboys not going to win a Super Bowl. But apparently, I'm uh, mentioning this to tell you this, the Packers... Friends and families and mothers and brothers and sisters of the Cowboys players are fighting amongst each other on social media. Oh, oh my God. My it all starts with C.D. Lamb, wide receiver, a member of the 88 Club for the Cowboys. That's a big damn deal. His mother, Lita, following the team's disappointing performance, she took to her Facebook account and a giant bold face print, Dak ain't it. Oh. Dak, of course, is the quarterback for the Cowboys. C.D. Um, Lamb, uh, I had that children's book. Oh, really? C.D. Lamb. C.D. Horse. Lamb. Oh, I see. C.D. Cow. <laughs> C.D. Animals at the farm. <laughs> C.D. Player. <laughs> CD, CD Lambs, uh, CD Player, CD Rom, thrown in garbage. <laughs> CD Rom, thrown in garbage. CD Lambs' mom does not stop there. Why can't we get CJ Stroud to come play for the Cowboys? Get oh, rid of Dak. This is rough. That's right. I wish, I wish CJ CJ would come play for us. Prescott don't want a ring. I That's his know. problem. He, did, he, he just he he, flat out didn't want the ring. He just doesn't want it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He doesn't mind being a champion. I, 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 I can't wear rings. <laughs> uh, they need to get rid of his uh, ass. It's guys on the team that want a ring. They work so hard. C.D. Lamb's mother continues. Uh, now, Dak Prescott's older brother, Tad, weighs in. Cowboys fans, why continue to DM me? Trust me, if I could get Dak to leave Dallas, I would. Oh. I've asked him on several occasions. I want him at a, out of Dallas as well. D Tad's suggesting he's un, um, celebrated there. For <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, I think not appreciated. That, exactly. Uh. That's exactly right. Uh, however, Prescott... Dak Prescott, meanwhile, says, hey, my brother, I, all the, everything he says, it's his. I have nothing to do with it. I love Dallas and the Cowboy organization. They've been great to me and my family. And wait till you get a load of the contract Dak gets off uh, during the offseason. Uh, and then Micah pa Parsons' uh, brother Terrence weighs in. I can't wait because you all are really clueless out there. You guys... Micah Parsons. <laughs> uh, goes I love when the, <laughs> there's a person who tries. Y'all are hey, a bunch of clueless. All of you sound like fools, but they end up sounding like just the sound, uh, even a, uh, an even bigger idiot. <laughs> yeah. And last weekend's four NFL division round playoff games averaged 40 million viewers. Man. Not average. bad. Uh, Not it says bad. Uh, the highest on record dating back to 1988. Uh, Washington was in the conversation. The viewer averaged seven percent increase over last year, five percent jump from two years ago. Sunday night's game between the Chiefs and the Bills, where Tay Tay was, uh, that was on CBS, averaged a divisional round record, the most viewed divisional round game in the history of the National Football League. Wow. Fifty point three nine million viewers. How about that? The I previous, think that answers your question. <laughs> the previous mark of forty eight point five two. That was in two thousand seventeen between the Cowboys and the Packers. So there you go. Yeah. There are those in the National Football League who are irritated by Taylor Swift and don't don't think she should be uh, well, shown. Of course, <laughs> it's okay. Yes. They just don't like all the money that it's rolling in. <laughs> I, I don't know. Nice what story. I don't it's know two why. kids in love. Yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, better, better, better than many of the stories about athletes. Yeah, why not? He's the brothers, uh, graduates of Cleveland Heights High School, where my mom went. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. that's, that's why it's important. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's important, of course. <laughs> uh, what's coming up? Give me the teaser, please. Uh, that NFL, uh, the Super Bowl's coming up. The uh, referee uh, crew has been announced, and uh, it's a heartwarming story just for Tom. Okay. And, and um, we also have uh, coming up a uh, great guest, Roy Wood Jr. will be our guest, uh, as well as Allie Breen with Sexy Time. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or... Ready and action. Hey, we should wake up every morning with Bob and Tom. That sounds good to me. No problem here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that'd be my fault. The hell was that? Ready and action. Hey, we should wake up every morning with Bob and Tom. Well, that sounds good to me. No problem here.
How's it going? Morning. Hey, hold on there, kid. I'm Bob. And I'm Tom. From the Bob and Tom Show. We thought we'd barge in. God. There's a new one. <laughs> hey, kid, hold on there. I'm Bob. And I'm Tom. From the Bob and Tom Show. We do a morning radio show here in town. Here's the deal. We thought we'd break into your house. <laughs> Consarn it. <laughs> Shoot. Darn it. Honey, I'm home. Oh, great. Fish again. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we can vote you off this commercial. You know, Chick wanted Richard Hatch. <laughs> what if we paid you to say you liked us? <laughs> I think that we can vote you off. Okay. Come way down. And now the news. Oh. You do sports. And now, and now the sports. <laughs> Sports terms that sound dirty, but they're not. No, oh, really. Ready? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Coming in first place. <laughs> Good. Palming the ball. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Taking it to the hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just don't get your holes mixed up. Right. Ooh. Just don't get your holes mixed up. <laughs> Flip the card over. Flip the card over. I don't well... want it in my... <laughs> I don't know if that's what they're looking for here. Don't f*** his cries. How right. many times have I heard, heard that? that? <laughs> Take two. A London homeowner who discovered three men trying to rob his house had no difficulty in describing one of the suspects. He had no legs. Ooh, Ooh usually in crime, it's the... <laughs> <laughs> Usually in crime, it's the police that are stumped, not the criminals. <laughs> I know you guys probably aren't interested, but guess what I did this weekend? I don't know. I don't know. Did you uh, impeach Bush? <laughs> no. Buzz the honey hole? <laughs> no. Flick the minnow? Did you flick the minnow? <laughs> Flicking the old minnow? Oh, Flicking wow. the minnow? Or did you impeach Clinton? Bailing out the gravy boat? Is that what you were doing? <laughs> Finger the fountain. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like wow. a wonderful time, but no, I didn't do any of those things. Sorry. Oh, what um, a boring weekend. Yeah, <laughs> Move on. Yes. Bounce the bearded clam. <laughs> <laughs> did you yeah, attend yeah. the clam twiddling jamboree? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I That's what I did. Get to that or not? Yeah, I double dribbled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tom did. I uh, just took his only uh, line. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I like to think of Bob as the funny. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prop, yeah. It's part of the drinking act. <laughs> I like to think of Bob as the funny one, and I'm more the philosophical one. Ah, really? By the way, you left your headlights on. Socrates. <laughs> <laughs> What's new? Did the other, can you do the other That's line? It? That's it. That's it. That was the <laughs> joke? <laughs> what was That's the other it. Line? This one right here. I think of Bob as the funny one. I'm more of the philosophical one. Really? Will you shut up and drink your hemlock, please? <laughs> 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 I told you to be too hip for you. Hemlock, you know? Hemlock. Socrates. What is it? Poison. Is it start with H? You want hemlock? Headlights? What's next? <laughs> Hemorrhoid. Hemorrhoid. <laughs> name in women's figure skating after her gold medal performance at the 1984 Winter Games in Sarajevo. Four years later at the Calgary Games, she successfully defended her title. Then, ten years after that, in 1998, she posed naked in Playboy magazine, mm. a move which critics said severely tarnished her image and marketability. Men throughout the world were 
outraged. <laughs> if Katerina were going to pose nude, why had she not done it in 1988 when we were all fascinated by what she must look like with her clothing? Yeah. To wait 10 years after her physical prime, when we had all clearly moved on to Nancy Kerrigan, <laughs> was a slap in the face to male fans everywhere and goes against the very spirit of the Olympic Games. Yes. Hello, Michelle Kwan, are you listening? Uh, <laughs> this has been another Bob and Tom Olympic moment uh, yeah. in history. Hello. This is Reno Collier, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. I got thrown out of J.C. Penny the other day. Really? Yeah, fondling up the mannequins. <laughs> Believe that? And that ain't my fault. Have you seen the mannequins in there? Uh -huh. And they taunt you, too. They got the little short skirt on, arm up, kind of waving you over. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Shoot. I tell you what, if you ask me, the little whore was asking for it. You know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. So that's how you know you're too high. All day, all night, all Bob and Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Sencha. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. Hi. There's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. He's in the performance room. There's Josh Arnold at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Thank you, Chick. And you see this paper that I'm I holding? Do. I do. What color would you call that? Pink. In fact, it's Malibu pink. Oh. It's now available in Steven Singer Jewelers 24 karat gold roses. The number one gift for Valentine's Day exclusively and only available at IHateStevenSinger.com. Uh, the Steven Singer Singers are going to be here tomorrow with a very special ah. uh, version of the Bob and Tom Show with a couple of special guests. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's Ace Cosby. Hey, I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Ace Cosby, the only one who's cooperating with my idea to once again dress up as presidents on President's you, you Day. You have to stop. It's not going to happen. Ace has decided he wants to dress Chick, up as Nixon. Chick, I'll do anything for all that extra money. What extra money? It's going to pay me, right? Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. There I think well, he does every well. two weeks. Uh, now, the way it works is... Uh, uh, we've dressed up as presidents several times, and uh, you guys... Uh, I can remember twice. I have photographic evidence of more than twice. How, what would you say? This is interesting. We'll find out. What? How many times have we done it in your brain? I think three or four. Um, and oh, well, I, we're not fun. We don't disagree that much. There's not a big a difference. There's not as big a gulf as you think there is between common ground. us, Tom. Uh, now, uh, Ace, <laughs> uh, Ace has volunteered to dress up as Nixon, which I think is uh, kind of funny. I don't think... And as uh, uh, some may say inappropriate, but I think that uh, many of these um, racial divides have been uh, erased with the presence of uh, the great uh, Broadway show Hamilton, mm -hmm. in which diversity is the key. Playing loose and fast with uh, history. Allowing actors to uh, portray portray whoever they want um, and perhaps ace could do this next segment as as nixon which would <laughs> certainly be fun let's just do it in your voice okay <laughs> <laughs> in a weird week the furniture store keeps keeps calling me they do they won't stop calling me and i told them i just want the one nightstand that was uh, Cosby's yeah. joke of the day. You got a clinger on your hands. Uh, yeah. Ace's uh, joke of the day brought to you by <laughs> Sleep Number. That's right. Sleep Next Level. Save 40% on the Sleep Number Special Edition Smart Bed for a limited time only at the Sleep Number Store or sleepnumber.com. Uh, I've got some Sleep Number news coming up. And I say, speaking of furniture stores, Ace. Saturday, February 10th, it's going to be Pat Coslitz in Evansville, Indiana. They'll be hosting Mr. Jeff Oske. Is that right? And Mr. Pat Godwin. Mm -hmm. Am I getting this right, Pat? Yep. Saturday that'll, night. That'll be there. a great show. Pat, uh, you can use that joke. I know it uh, sells out every year, so <laughs> get on that right away. And if you buy, uh, buy a dinette set during the show, Pat and uh, Jeff will load it for you. Absolutely. Isn't that right? Put it, yeah. put it together, uh, take it to your home. There okay. you go. All, anything that? you need. Very nice. Now, uh, we were talking about, um, we, had a, we had a nice letter from uh, Mr. D.H., uh, who uh, was, mentioned... was grateful that the child's his. Yes, go yes. on. Oh, this is that poor brow-beaten bastard. Oh, the... no, no, I'm sorry, that's the wrong letter. It was the one from the guy that uh, noticed that uh, Chick McGee oh. uh, sounded like... Um, Let me turn my headphones. It sounded like uh, the um, uh, announcers from South Korea. Oh! There they are. 
are. Those are the announcers from South Korea. This is a chick getting his prostate exam. <laughs> oh! Oh, God! Oh, there you go. That was nice. nice. And yeah, it was the nurse doing that one. That was the nurse. Was that the nurse? Yeah, one? that was the nurse. I, uh, she had the really long fingernails. Yeah. Oh. And good for you for getting that done, Chickster. Yeah, very important test. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you talk to a medical professional. Lots of great tests for the gents and for the ladies in all kinds of uh, various orifices. Especially you ladies should have your prostate. Well, okay. absolutely. Yeah. But oh, that yeah. reminded me of, this, on, of this classic moment in uh, Bob and Tom radio history. You've heard famous announcer from the Bob and Tom show, Chick McGee, doing play-by-play -play on the golf course. Get in the hole. Oh! Oh, man. It's in the hole! <laughs> You've heard Chick McGee getting a prostate exam live on the radio. Chick is uh, bent over a uh, large stool. I... I am so clenching. I can't. <laughs> no, he's, he, he, he's left his underpants up. Those have to come down. Well, I didn't want to. Well, take them all the way down. She that's can, it. How's she going to find it? Okay, she wait a second. Find it. Wait Golden a second. Jelly. Oh, oh now, well, that's not bad. <laughs> oh! Oh! Gosh! Ah, oh, Jesus! The nurse is in there. Is that's it over? Fist? It's over. <laughs> and now, here, famous announcer Chick McGee singing with some of the most famous bands of all time. It's Chick McGee Rocks. You'll get Chick McGee with the Beatles. McGee with Humble Pie. You know it's hard to believe in the hole! In the hole! In the hole! In the hole! It's Chip McGee Rocks, as only the Chester can. To order, call 1 800 A A A A A A A. That's 1 800 <laughs> Certainly one of the classics. Mm -hmm. uh, Chick sings along. Thank you very much, Chickster. Uh, we now return to uh, that same Chick McGee, the very same. He is at the Bob and Tom Sports Desk. Terry Killens will earn a unique distinction in football history when he steps on the field as the umpire at Super Bowl 58. He'll be the first person to both play in a Super Bowl and serve as an official in the wow. Super Bowl. <laughs> The NFL announced today that, uh, well, yesterday, that Killens will be part of the Super Bowl 58 officiating crew. It's Killens' fifth season as an NFL official and his first Super Bowl assignment. It's not his uh, first time in the Super Bowl, though. Killens played for the Titans in Super Bowl 34, lost to the Rams. A backup linebacker, Killens made one tackle in the game, and um, that came on special teams. So I thought you would enjoy that that's very cool. much. Yeah, that's yeah. very cool. Very much, Tom. There. There used to be uh, very few people would coach in one and play in one. I think Ditka caught a touchdown pass. And, hmm. and of course, he coached. And there, you know, as time goes on more and more, you understand how uh -huh. time works. Okay. <laughs> I understand how time works. I don't know. You're demonstrating right now. Huh? That's exactly Slowly right. Oh, no. This will. <laughs> this will. Uh, this will do something, showing it okay. to everyone. A proposed skyscraper in Oklahoma City is possibly going to become the tallest building in the United States. No kidding. Hmm. Is this? They're thinking about it, huh? It might be a world record. Well, if it they might, even build, it might build get built. Yeah, this, uh, this <laughs> is might be stupid world records. That's where we are now. <laughs> Real estate development company announced they'll request a variance from the city of Oklahoma to increase the height for one of the towers in the development known as the Boardwalk of Bricktown. Why would the city care? Why would they need a variance? I... They well, must because care. they know, want to 
have some saying where the buildings go. Yeah. You, you find that <laughs> objectionable? Most cities do. Seems like such standard operating. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> I had to file for what a variance to do some work on my house. That's because the city's mind your own business. <laughs> Doesn't work that they, way, this, buddy. These guys want to taunt tornadoes going, oh, yeah? Look how tall we are, Mr. Tornado. Hit us. We, um, th this covers a lot of ground, but you've never <laughs> sounded stupider, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the development would feature three towers, each rising to 345 feet, with a fourth super tall Legends Tower that would go to 1,907 seven feet. Cool. If Ooh. approved, the height variance will make the structure the tallest building in the United States, fifth tallest in the world. The company said the symbolic height honors the year that Oklahoma City was admitted as the 46th state. Anyone know what year that was? No, I don't. Off the top of your no. head? No. Oh, oh, really? Well, that's surprising. Uh, 1907, of course. Ah. Well, then why is it only going to 1905? No, the, the building would be 1907. The building's oh. 1907. Oh, I thought I heard 1905. Never mind. Well, that's a problem. Yeah. See, I that's why wrong. you're not on the uh, board. Right. To, exactly. To uh, okay the height. Mm -hmm. This will never happen. You don't think so? No. <laughs> well, what's the problem with well, this? Well, now it's not ever going to happen. <laughs> eh, the city's going to get in the way. They're going to want, you know, parking and sewage. And by the time they get it all cleared up, it'll be too late. Who's going to foot the bill for this thing? Uh, Real gonna, estate development company. Is it going to be apartments? What's going to be in there? That's what I was going to ask. Well, office space? Office space probably will things. be. And last time I checked, both. office space. Sure they have a, a restaurant. They have a sound business plan. I have no I idea how it. I... Josh and I have become the champions of Oklahoma <laughs> City, but apparently... <laughs> oh, it's a great city. I've loved, I've That's loved wonderful. It. It's fine. I've always That's, loved it. Yeah. Why would... <sighs> I'm just saying I wouldn't hold your breath waiting for this to happen. I hope to, I hope to see it. Yeah. It'd be awesome. Oh, good. Well, yeah. Buy a bank in the lobby. That'd be nice. How long do you think nice the elevator bank? takes? Maybe, oh, uh, you know what? They're pretty fast in those maybe, tall, tall uh, buildings. Are they? Much. There's a great documentary out there about elevators and tall buildings. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's fascinating. Really? They almost had to build a, a building just as tall uh, for that Dubai, whatever the hell it is, building, because they had to fit all the equipment for the elevators and for the building. Pretty incredible. Yes. You watched a documentary on elevators. Might have. Honey, you need a hobby. Yeah. <laughs> no. He was in a bad mood. He just needed a lift. Oh, oh, oh there you go. Oh. Thank you, Josh. Yeah. Could have watched You're Otis welcome. on uh, Mayberry, but no, he watched <laughs> uh, the Otis elevator people. I, uh, isn't this just a big dick thing anyway? No. Uh, Biggest building. There we and go. You know what? Remember when I said, like, five minutes ago, you've never sounded stupider? <laughs> <laughs> We're in new territory. So Go ahead. Draw, draw good tourism to the area. Of course. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, that'll make them a couple hundred bucks a day. Well, I went to the... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thunder Tower, whatever the hell they're going to call <laughs> the it. It better be called the Thunder Tower. <laughs> I've got a feeling team, we might team. be looking for a new affiliate no, in Oklahoma <laughs> City. Yeah, I mean, oh, sorry. No, I just... Uh, I'm not seeing this happening. I, I hope it does. That'd be awesome. Would you go see it? Yeah, I, 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 I love I love OKC anyway. Have you yeah, been to the? Uh, have They've you got a hell the of a basketball team. You right? been to the yeah. top of the Empire State Building? Uh, yes, and I've been, I was at the top of the World Trade Center. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, hey, and I the top to, of. Uh, I went to the top. Of hey, you name the building. I've been to the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Eiffel Tower. I have not been to that, but it's not a building; it's a structure. Uh, that's right. True. <laughs> okay. Got me there. I don't look like they finished this. <laughs> I, I said that. Uh, oh man, it's uh, funny. what's coming oh, up? Kill it. We have more world records yes, coming up. Yes, more, more from the mind of Tom Griswold. I take no credit for anything I'm going to do for the next ten minutes. Uh, also coming up, we have uh, the latest time on the Doomsday Clock. Oh, that's oh, an uplifting right. thing. Perfect. And we have um, <laughs> something called CPS, Cheesy Penis Syndrome. And uh, the great comedian Roy Wood Jr. will be joining us. Right now, you were talking about the sleep number bed. Yep. Uh, now, talk about perfection. They have perfected adjustable firmness, which is such a great idea. When you get a mattress, you take it home from the regular mattress store, and well, whatever you picked out, that's how it's going to be. The sleep number bed is adjustable. This is uh, such a simple idea. They have executed it perfectly. The Sleep Number Smart Bed, designed for you, for your one-of-a-kind firmness comfort. And either side of the bed has its own setting. Miss Christy Lee, uh, your setting, I believe, is 35. Is it that is. correct? So Let me tell you about Sleep Number Bed. You start talking about it, I start yawning. 
Uh-huh. My, my number is 100. Uh-huh. I love the firmness of and my sleep number bed. You two could be together if you were. Either side of the bed has its own setting. It's that simple. Well, me and Christy and Arnie in the same bed. That would be... A, Andy. Her I'm husband's sorry. name is Andy. <laughs> the point is, J.D. Power now Ooh, ranks thruple. the sleep number... J.D. Power now ranks the sleep number smart bed number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in store. Details at jdpower.com. Ask them. Are you sure J- it's Arnie? jdpower.com slash awards. Shut up. Okay. JD Power. They love it. You'll love it, too. You can save 40% on the Sleep Number Special Edition Smart Bed for a limited time. Once again, they're available only at Sleep Number stores. Or sleepnumber.com slash BT Show is how you find out where the store is. They'll give you all the details on all kinds of special financing that's available for a limited time. Sleep Number. The beautiful Sleep Number bed. Coming up, comedian Roy Wood Jr. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. No matter how hard I try, can't keep my hands off my face. <laughs> Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. Roy Wood Jr. Comedian. Tim Allen is here. He goes, you know, oftentimes, you hear this a lot, yeah, oftentimes the technology they learn here at the race is translated into your family car. Uh Uh-huh. I went, yeah, right. This year, the Chevy's offered the new, the Indy Celebrity. (laughs) A 900 horsepower Celebrity Wagon. (laughs) Gosh, George, this thing's really got some pickup, doesn't it? (laughs) I got to the kids to school in about six seconds. <laughs> We're having lapping practice next week with all the other girls' PTA. She's running the offy. I'm doing the Buick. And Betty's got the Chevy high tech. I pulled the trailer right out from under the boat, George. This baby's got some guts to it. Love Sears, do you? This mm. craftsman tool department makes my nipples rock hard. <laughs> <laughs> She always figured we should grunt like pigs. Uh-huh. The little primate you are. Don't speak to your mother. You grunt like the pigs you are. <laughs> <laughs> Ever try to take a steak away from your husband? Here, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to grab meat from a man while we're just like dogs. I like going through the house rewiring stuff. That's my favorite thing. Got one of those big tool belts. Yeah. Two cordless Makita drills hanging low. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to know how to wear it, otherwise your butt crack shows. You know what I'm <laughs> hey, what is that? A pencil hole over there, Bob? I'm gonna hike that up. I got some spackle. I'll uh, I'll figure out that butt crack. Really, I got some dap butt crack filler putty back here. I'll just fill that crack right in there, Bob. I got kids eating food in this kitchen. Get out of here. Go to minor me a dovetail out there or something, Bob. I'm, I just cruise around my house like Bob Vila, you know, with a bad headache. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking for stuff. I look at. I notice Grandma's easy lift chair isn't moving quite as quick as I'd like it to. <laughs> so I pop down the hardware store, pick up a compressor, some hose, some coax cable. I wire that sucker up. I forget Grandma lost some weight in the years I look at. Got the 140 pounds a little too high, didn't it, Grandma? <laughs> Shot that bitch halfway across the kitchen there. <laughs> Doilies following her. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. I'll dial that baby down as soon as I rewire Grandpa's hearing aid. I got a preamp on that son of a bitch. <laughs> Comedian yeah. Tim Allen. Oh, God. Now uh, that's manly. Yeah. Presiding over a symbolic condom roast in his Catholic Church's parking lot a in Waterbury, Connecticut. Mm, yes. I love those. The Reverend Joseph Looney protested. Mesquite condom roast. <laughs> mm, very tasty. <laughs> I'd like that black and please. It makes it look bigger. And they look, <laughs> <laughs> they look so good at a shish kebab, too. A little pepper, a little bell pepper. Mm-hmm. Condom. Mm. <laughs> What's the name of this reverend? Oh, reverend Joseph Looney. I'm not kidding. No. Unbelievable. I, I, I'm Casey Kasem. I don't think so. American Top 40. Yeah. Is it just my imagination or is my head just a bit too big for my body? <laughs> and here's my wife, Karima Kasem. Show him the Top 40, honey. <laughs> 
Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. All right. Well, thank so, you. So she said. So you say thank you to her. Yeah. And she doesn't say you're welcome or the whole thing. Well, no, seems... I usually leave her with that starry-eyed look on her face. Ah, the starry-eyed look. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. no, she's bright. <laughs> <laughs> see, see there. There you go. Christie's Christie's uh, mocking Christy's you. Going, no, there's no such thing as the starry-eyed look. I see. Uh -huh. Well, thank you, sir. Right, thank you for you. being brave. Uh, by thank speaking you. to us. Hi, everybody. This is Mark Sweeney. And you're. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We'll be talking with the one, the only, our dub, Roy Wood Jr. here in just a couple minutes. Um, uh, we'll look forward to talking with Roy. He's on tour, and uh, we'll find out what the latest is with Mr. Roy Wood Jr. In the meantime, we go back to the sports desk with Chick McGee. We were talking about Tyler Bass, the kicker for the Buffalo Bills, who missed that kick against the Chiefs, and uh, certainly uh, did uh, the Bills no favors in uh, the, uh, the AFC Divisional Round, uh, and... Uh, apparently, uh, Tyler Bass, a big cat fan. So uh, donations to the 10 Lives organization uh, in the Buffalo area. They've <laughs> almost $200,000 with the donations <laughs> to, uh, on Tyler's behalf, which, which is nice. much nicer than yeah. why, do, why don't you get gonorrhea instead of yeah. uh, wishing, you know, oh, like, people. like an Ace Ventura. Dan Marino should get gonorrhea. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. There's another cat story Christy has over there that's kind of... Uh, but I was going to say... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that, anywhere. Uh, I was asking if there are... I'm sure I've heard of a cat that looks like a kitten for its entire life. Wow. Okay. And it's called a sand cat. Hmm. They look like kittens when they're full grown. Huh. Oh, but is that a domestic cat like you could have as a pet? Huh? Can you have one as a pet? Yes, I'm going to order three. <laughs> yeah! There you go. Oh, you know the what? dogs I'm, would love that. I'm going to... T oh, I, I, I think they would. Uh, yeah, the dogs will enjoy themselves. Oh. The sand cats, maybe not as much. <laughs> they might be a little jumpy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, oh. here we go. Yeah, there's... Um, well, this one's at the San Diego Zoo. Ah. Mm. So it's a, the sand cat is a small wild cat. Oh, my gosh. They're so cute. That inhabits deserts. Oh. Wow. Uh, I, guess, huh? I got to get one. Is it legal to own oh, them? I don't know, but you, if, don't tell anybody you have them. Um, oh, they're, they're adorable. They it are says, adorable. It says uh, no, essentially. Aww. Well, they 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 have they, a taste they, for human flesh. What are you saying? What are you telling me? Well, dead. Well, something's up. It's not recommended that you have them. As pets. I agree with that. Something's yeah. up. They rove in packs of thirty. <laughs> in a zoo. But you're, they do have a they have a kitten face. They're Isn't happiest sweet? when wearing your face instead of their. Yeah. Face. Yes, true wild cats. They're not adapted for living alongside humans, oh. but occasionally people have attempted to keep them as pets. Attempted. Yeah, yeah that's always bad. I want a dozen. <laughs> well, now I'm sorry. I was speaking of cats, we have another a, another angle on the cat thing. An animal shelter in Rhode Island is offering a supporters chance to put their ex's name and cat litter ahead of Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, one of Rhode those. Island Society of for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals 
said for a $5 donation, they will write the name of your ex in a litter box for the shelter cats to poop all over. <laughs> Here's their yeah. quote. Quote, how's that for stinky retributon? Oh, yeah, making yeah. jokes. Oh. According to the Providence Journal, the shelter has raised over $2,200 so far. Oh, good. Added donations have come from Rhode Island and beyond, <laughs> including Alaska, Texas, and Missouri. Cool. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> silly. Do they send you some kind of certificate that that so you have oh, to give to your ex? I bet they send you a picture. Absolutely. Oh. Yeah, they probably send you a picture yep. of their name and a cat crapping on it. Oh probably. man. Yeah. Um, cat written in the litter there. Can you still mail oh, fish? <laughs> mail fish. Yeah. Yes. I didn't know you ever could. You can always yeah. mail. Oh yeah, yeah. you can mail yeah. fish. You can mail a, foot, a fish. A live fish. fish. No, yeah. no, no, a dead fish. Well, you can mail oh. a live fish, too. People be that dead have... by the time it gets there. Yeah, 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 there so you, you can mail a human hand, I'm sure. If you... <laughs> <laughs> you can yeah. mail anything, really. I'm sure that's not necessarily legal. You can what about an elephant? Can you, can you mail sure. an elephant? You, you can. Yeah. So okay. uh, this is like the thing where they name it's a cockroach. It's all in the packaging, Pat. They name <laughs> a cockroach after your ex, one of those yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. Send them black roses. It's a good thing. Oh, man, that's... If you open, if you find a package yeah. on your porch and it's black roses. I got that Do you once. remember? You got black roses yeah. once? Mm -hmm. Yeah, back in Pennsylvania. Whoa. I believe that. Wow. That's Do a, you remember the candy were... that was shaped like the chocolate starfish, quote sure. unquote? Oh, boy. You could send those. Uh, booty <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yes. That was a <laughs> but nice Some people Valentine's might take that the wrong gift. way. They might like that. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Looks Look like I'm this. getting a rimmer for Valentine's Day. <laughs> no, that's not Hi, I'm here. There, there's my there's my piece of candy. I'm here to cash it in on my rim. I accept. <laughs> I've never been happier. The, that the, did not go well. The, the, the I pitch thought. is it's not just for your birthday anymore. If someone did that to you, you rimmer's, rimmer's candy, oh. you'd be laughing for the entire time. You would. You, yeah, we had them. Someone presented them to us for Christmas yes. once. We had the. Isn't that lovely? I don't think they were called rimmers, but. <laughs> Uh, well. So once again, uh, we're in Rhode Island, you can have your a name in kitty litter or whatever. Yes. Okay. Aren't some of the adult cinema stars, don't they, the ladies, don't they make uh, they do. molds of their and they make mm -hmm. chocolate out of that? And mm -hmm. Oh, I, I know they make uh, you know your silicone sex toys. You can buy a particular V or mm, BH. Yeah, like a chocolate yeah. V from... Uh, really? But I hadn't heard of the chocolate. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Wow. Yo. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> and, of course, uh, with the uh, the male adult cinema stars, that goes without saying. Oh, sure. That's yeah. been around a while. Now, are they, oh, yeah. are they hollow like some Easter bunnies? or are they... <laughs> Well, the cheaper ones oh, are hollow. Yeah, yeah. No, the no, no. They're, they're like a push-up. <laughs> they have a great little cream in there. There's a cream in there. They... <laughs> You, can you order them uh, angry? Or... Oh, they'd have to be angry. Those are the bigger ones. Yeah. I bet yeah. you the there candies. are really, I guarantee. really expensive ones with nougat that comes uh -huh. out. Oh, so right. Dad said those are the hard candies. <laughs> How did we get from kitty litter to this? I don't know. You want to hear more about the sand cat? No. Do you have any more sports? As a true wild cat, oh, God. sand cats are not adapted for living alongside humans. <laughs> we covered that. Occasionally, people do attempt to keep them as pets. However, <laughs> their respiratory tracts are... <laughs> Are specialized for very dry environments yeah, and they're can... prone to illnesses. Oh, and yeah, they like living in the desert. Yeah, yeah, they they like oh. the desert. Ooh. They like um, the desert very much. Maybe you could move to Arizona and get a sand cat then. Oh, that yeah, sounds exciting. There you go. Uh, it sounds like be on the train by noon. I don't know. Over, boy, if there's if there's a, a world record that that screams Tom's name, this is it. Okay. Over 600 people participated in the world's largest skiing lesson in Norway. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> what? That's You're many, against this. Too many people. You can't learn anything. No. There's, the 600, there's 600 people there. You're gonna, it's too crowded. You'll Here, be, I'm not gonna be, be the knocking only, everybody down. I'm not going to be the only one suffering. Everyone get a pencil and paper out. Write this down. Yeah. Right. The ski festival is called J-A-N-T-E-L- O P P E T. You down with O P P? Go ahead. Gentilope. Oh, I think she nailed it immediately. <laughs> Gentilope. Gentilope. That means the Not French though. It's probably Gentilope, huh? Gentilope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they speak Norwegian. Gentilope sounds like one of the bands at Lollapalooza this year. Jan Lop, is yeah. Jan Loppet going to be there? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. yeah, right after Five for Fighting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Five for Fighting's going to be there. <laughs> oh, yeah, Superman. I, I love that song. Yeah, me Makes too. me cry they're, every they're, time. They're opening for the Dung Beatles. They're amazing. <laughs> Olympic cross-country champion Peter Norhung 
<laughs> oh, wait a minute. So it's a cross-country lesson. That's, Even worse. That's totally different. It is. Even more boring. That's totally He's going different. to be instructing a total of 604 people on how to ski. Uh, First of all, become all-knowing. Then <laughs> the lesson uh, takes uh, takes 35 minutes. Beat the previous record of 595 people that stood for 15 years. Uh, all right. So now Peter Nortong. Hung. Boy, that's a great name for him. Oh, Mel. Hmm? Peter Northung? No, oh, Norhung. Norhung. Oh, okay. He's not wide nor hung. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, He's um, Peter Norhung. Stupid. There's another? another one? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Florida's. <laughs> that one's really dumb. I, I, as a skier, I find it stupid. Well, Florida's Blue Springs State Park report that last week's cold weather brought a record number of. Manatees there to stay warm. Mm, oh, I bet. that's nice. The park says that 932 manatees were counted in the park's comparatively warm waters on Sunday, breaking the previous record of 736 at on New Year's Day. Aww. <laughs> okay. Manatees, Aww. also known as sea cows, yes. <laughs> are drawn to the water at the park because it stays 72 degrees. Oh, they like, boy, they do like it warm. Yeah, yeah. warm. Do the like gators cool bother place. them? No, not once they stop. Uh, <laughs> I mean, did, the, did the gators leave the vanities alone? I don't know, they but might I be have. Too big. Maybe. There's a gator story out of Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina. The Swamp Park Outdoor Adventure Center said during the cold snap, the gators had a very interesting way to survive. They are suspended in the frozen ponds with just the tips of their nose up so that they can breathe and they go into this hibernation kind of state. Right. And then they thawed out when the warming trend happened on Tuesday. Interesting. Oh, I saw the video this morning. It's pretty interesting. Is boy, it? oh boy, are they hungry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, now, have we, uh, do we have, um, we're waiting to hook up here with Roy Wood Jr. And I think we may be getting a little bit closer. We're going to try to get him on the uh, on the Zoom. I know he's... Uh, on the blower? Is my grandma? Is there, he is. there he is. There's that handsome man. Yes. Yes, yeah. sir. How you doing? Good. Hi, Roy. How you doing? Roy, Roy, Roy I'm, I'm sure good. you know about this, R-Dub, but you've got a little uh, gray wispy there going on in your facial hair. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we call that the salt and pepper ride. I'll yeah. explain that later off the air. <laughs> the salt and nice. pepper ride. Just yeah. say when. That's right. <laughs> now, uh, I know that you got... Get uh, right up, but we got to get your medical clearances first. I need to see all of your... You got to have all your shots. Now, Roy, I know that you're doing daddy duty today. Uh, so have you yeah. already done it or do you have to do it in a couple minutes here? Oh, right off camera is a wonderful seven-year-old child enjoying a book and a croissant and some store-bought pre-cut fruit because I like wasting money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Ah. Faster. Well, um, yeah. we, I know that you've got to run him to school today, so we'll be brief. Everything yeah. going okay? You're doing a little bit of touring right now? Yeah, it's it's been it's been a blessing to still be out a little bit on the road and you know, popping Iowa City, popping in Madison in a month. Like it's still good to know that there's normal people out on the road. Like that's the thing that I've really found interesting. And the other thing is that since I left the Daily Show, I've run into more people who want to talk politics with me and I'm like, Hey man, I don't work there anymore. I'm sorry. Do you wanna <laughs> talk about the dolphins? Blowing <laughs> one of the best opportunities this season. Yeah. yeah. Let's get back to the real issues. Why did the Dolphins continue to blow the division to the Bills? Yeah. Mm. And look what happened to the Bills. Yeah. Wow. Um, oh. Yeah. No. I, I, let me ask you all a question real quick. How, how would you take this? Um, when, when, I, when I left Daily Show, a guy sent me a DM, and I could tell he was being trying to be supportive. Hey, man, we love you. I'm sorry it didn't work out the way you would have hoped, but just so you know, Comedy Central didn't hire you because they're fat phobic. Oh. What? So he's insinuating now, you're fat? Now, uh, Christy, you've seen me in person. Not, I am soft in places. You are handsome. I, I saw you at the Emmys. You looked amazing. You are not. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm husky, but I'm not... This is discrimination level B. Right. <laughs> right. No, you're not. That's right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 Am I discrimination level B? No. I don't know no. where that number no. is, no. but just help me out. 
Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Roy Wood Jr. is on tour. I should point this out. Uh, Thursday night, it's going to be Grand Rapids, Michigan. Ann Arbor on Friday. Uh, Indy at the famous Egyptian Room on Saturday. And then a whole bunch of other dates coming up in February, including Iowa City and uh, Minneapolis, Boston. You're out there on the road. And then uh, people do want to know what's going to happen with the Daily Show. But, hey, who cares? You got uh, you got lots of stuff on your own going on out there. So we'll look yeah. forward to seeing you wherever you end up. I'm dealing with a lot. Uh, one more question. Um, so I got invited to a sex island party. Hmm. Wow. With some with porn stars. This was like, like, like consenting legal. Like, and, and did you check their medical certificates? The, no, not yet. <laughs> and and I, I think I think one of the biggest issues we're facing. I don't think we talk about it enough in this country is how difficult it is to make friends when you're over the age of forty. Mm. Uh, Tom has said Both that for. Are, yep, yeah. Tom has said that forever. Yep. yep. True. There's no service. Like most of the friends you have is because you were in hostage situations together <laughs> in the work of college. That's right. right. Yeah, That's yeah, exactly cool. right. Yeah. And and you know and and I don't. And the, the bigger issue is how do you receive friendship? That's the bigger thing because here you have these two wonderful porn stars that I met on a podcast about two years ago. And they felt comfortable enough to go, hey, once a year, me and a bunch of other couples, we go out and we go to a house on a beach and we just all have sex for seven days a week. Don't tell your mom I said that, but <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, 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 <laughs> and they've invited me. Now, I thought about going, but I'm also single. And my biggest fear is bombing in front of seven people. <laughs> like, it's one thing to bomb with a joke, but it's another thing to bomb yeah. at a sex party. Where it, like, <laughs> like it, what if in the pressure of it, Josh? What if I can't get it up? Then what? <laughs> right. Because if it's one person who says that you couldn't do the job, that's just a lie. She's just a hater. But if seven people <laughs> are yeah. cooperating the story, it happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow, man, that's yeah. a dilemma. So, yeah, well, now, you, you did a you yeah, did so a uh, you did a whole study of of uh, of porno as it relates to the African American male. Yeah, there's some discrimination in the porn industry, but you know, as I think about what I want to do post Daily Show, I've been looking at I've been looking at that height surgery where you can make yourself like four inches taller oh, yeah. by slicing your shin. Yeah. It's painful and terrible. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, um, but you'll be four inches taller. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and then I'd be six I'd be six five, Chip. Yeah. Do you know what I would do with that? Yeah. But when I look at the price of three inches of height, it's actually it's literally cheaper to add a foot of penis. Oh, <laughs> and I've done the math. A foot. <laughs> yeah, I mean you don't work your way up. You don't just come out the gate with a foot. Oh, you they're like three, gauge piercings. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like you slowly make it wider. So it's a great idea. I'm looking at the economics of it, and you know, if I'm six with a foot, if, I'm pa if you're packing a foot, it don't matter how tall you are anymore. So true enough. I'm, I'm, I'm figuring things out. Mm, yes, it sounds good. It sounds good. Um, uh, and by the way, uh, Roy's essay on uh, porno is uh, is floating around in the internet these days, and I highly recommend it. Roy Wood Jr. on tour. Uh, once again, a bunch of dates coming up in the near future, including Grand Rapids, Ann Arbor, uh, Indy, et cetera, et cetera. And um, I highly recommend Roy's live show. We're going to look forward to seeing you. Hope to get you in the building. I think we're going to have you in the building here in a, sometime in about a month. Am I getting that right? Yeah, I think you know, on the other side of Madison, I'm going to swing through. Okay, right. I'm going to just stay out in the Midwest. Okay, you know. all right. Well, yeah, be looking, Find be looking some for some woman at a truck stop to stay with. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Now, look, real quick before we go, now, are you doing any of, I guess, being somewhat famous, I guess you can't really do the internet dating thing. Nah, I mean, I could. There's a website called Raya that's invite only, that's supposedly just for celebrities to meet other celebrities, but you have to be invited by someone that's already on Raya 
and I haven't been able to find that in. I guess I'm too ugly for Raya. Oh, no, no. And honestly, uh, I think I'll just go to Black People Meet and just be the most famous person there. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. That's what I'll do. <laughs> I've thought about farmers only. Mm. I, you know, they don't. They, they they never say you have to be a farmer to I, date on there. It's I actually just, tried that once just, and didn't get one response. Mm. Not one. Did you wear overalls with no shirt on? I have a photo of that, but I didn't put that up. Maybe okay. that's where I went See, wrong. See, I told you. I told you. Wrong. Yeah, that's where I went wrong. Okay. Darn, that's what I'm Roy. doing. I'm wearing overalls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing a pitchfork. Uh, <laughs> well, good luck in your search for a lady, Roy, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the Saturday studio. Saturday night, Roy. I can't yeah. wait. Love y'all. Thank you. Love Roy Wood Jr. on tour. Don't miss him. He's a great stand-up, and uh, he's been a friend of this show for a long, long time. Coming up are, uh, coming up in sports or coming up in oh. news? Uh, my resignation coming up in sports. <laughs> oh, Pretty exciting. Again, yes, yes. You know what people were reminded us of when we left for the holidays? I did not, for the third consecutive year, threaten to not come back. <laughs> I'd done it three years before this year, and I'd forgotten to quit on the last day. <laughs> it's not too late. So I apologize. Well, well maybe uh, Friday's coming. Maybe I'll, I'll act like I'm going to resign on Friday. We could okay. declare. We could declare at the end of the fiscal year, whatever the hell that means. Oh, the first quarter, and then well, just, yeah, whatever. When is that? Here. The first. When does that end? Quarters. Uh, who knows? Um, oh. uh, we're coming right back. Either way, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob. Slide guitar. Uh, I wrote a song a long time ago called the Lifelong Tiger Fan Blues. I know the Cubs and have issues, and but the Tigers uh, mm -hmm. have had for a long time. And I wrote it when we were like oh for 19 years, <laughs> and um, and then we got good in 2006. But then this particular season, 2010 here, um, we're, we we uh, we were great, and then we you know went off the cliff. So I yep. rewrote it about a week ago. Uh Baseball fans since I was a little boy I had a bedroom full of little baseball toys Batting a ball and a Wilson glove Yeah, me and the national pastime We was oh so in love Every opening day Oh, I still get that itch I can hardly wait for that very first pitch All my hopes and dreams all in place, I get visions of my tigers in a pennant race. Win or lose, I got a lifelong tiger fan blue. 2006, we made it all the way to the fabled fall classic, only get a St. Louis whooping and our Detroit ass kicked. <laughs> 2009, we was tied with the Twins. We had to go to Minnesota to lose it again. In 2010, started off with a bang. We was leading the league in everything. <laughs> Hang on. It's for you. Oh, but come the All-Star break, our season's done. Our goose is cooked, oh, they're setting our sun. Win or lose, I get a lifelong Tiger fan blues. Bring back K line, bring back Cash, bring back Greenberg, and all them homers eat smash. Mickey Cochran, Schoolboy Row, Ty Cobb, and Rocky Calavito. Win or lose. Got a lifelong Tiger fan blue. And this is the rewrite. First, Samaya broke his arm, then Inge broke his hand while Mags was breaking his foot. Gian was pulling his ham. <laughs> Half of our roster was MIA. Now half of Toledo's been called up to play. I don't believe in fate. I don't believe in signs. And waiting on your destiny's a waste of time. 
But how the hell else can we possibly explain Armando Galarraga's imperfect game? <laughs> when a loser got a lifelong tiger fan blues. Ain't fair, nice guys finish last. You can't have a future if you don't have a past. Yet still I hope, still I pray. Another World Series gonna come my way. But folks, mark my words and learn this lesson. Cut your losses and count your blessings. Or just like me, you're gonna end up crying while spending Sunday afternoons with the Detroit Lions. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, there's some frustration there. Jeff yeah. Daniels. The imperfect game. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. And you go, oh, wait a minute, you probably want this one, and you then you throw the like, big, <laughs> big wet towel. towel. No, you, know, you don't. You know, implying What's something you were talking about earlier? Stadium your, beers. Your money the... shot you were saying was. <laughs> so... Oh, it's, it's, it's uh, like 24 ounces. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if this is with age, but I don't, I don't have a. I don't really have what you'd call a money shot. <laughs> <laughs> Mine just kind of quietly leaves the party. <laughs> <laughs> It's more of a will you take a check shot. Kind of just slip out the side just door. Just kind of moseys out. That's my, that's my favorite joke of the year. Just kind of quietly leaves, leaves the party. The party. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> We appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. Essential morning radio. All day and all night. You might as well shoot me when the beer runs out. But in just a few minutes. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We just talked with our friend Roy, Roy Wood Jr. And if he's in your town, please go see him. He's mm -hmm. never disappointing. He's very funny. And a, a wonderful guy. Good man, Roy Wood Jr. Yes, sir. Yeah. Interesting background. Yeah. Uh, yes, his father had a chance to invest in what would be called what would become the monolith that is Soul Train. His yeah. father discovered yes. the host of Soul Train. Looked at Don Cornelius one day and said, Hey, you have a nice voice. You should try radio. I believe he was a cop that pulled him over. And uh, uh, bingo, bango. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, among many other interesting aspects of Roy's life. I, I certainly recommend him seeing him. In the meantime, are, are we switching to uh, Christy Lee at the news desk? Yes, we are. Uh, what do we got over there, Christy? Well, we'll keep with our. We were talking about sand cats and zoos and all that kind of thing. A zoo in Britain is trying a new strategy to rehabilitate the swearing parrots. We have an update. They've introduced more polite birds to the other parrots. Oh, remember? they have. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So Several. this is uh, the background on this is that they these parrots were donated 
the, the, I guess, three or four of them, and they were all cursing constantly. Yes, yeah, several foul-mouthed African greys were donated to Lincolnshire Wildlife Park back in 2020 and were isolated in an attempt to improve their language. Now, the team there is trying to integrate the vulgar birds into the flock of 92 non-swearing ones. The park's chief executive, Steve Nichols, told CNN that if the new strategy works, the eight parrots could learn all the nice noises like microwaves and vehicles reversing that the other parrots in the flock favor. However, microwaves. The, yeah, which is weird. <laughs> if the other 92 instead pick up the expletives. He says it's going to turn into some <laughs> adult aviary. The park has installed large signs warning visitors about the parrot's language, but Nichols said it hasn't received a single complaint. I think it's a bigger draw. And added, historically, we did hear a lot more customers swearing at parrots than we did parrots swearing at customers. Oh, I see. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, I think people would want to see them. I yeah, I'd, I'd like to see them. They get a kick out of it. Um, I hope the uh, parrots do a good job. I don't know why they're not taking advantage of the, this has been handed to people. Let's take a look at this. What are, What's more likely to happen? The, the good parrots become the bad parrots or vice versa? Yeah, I don't know. Well, well, yeah. Why don't we get like, you know, 30 strong young men and, and uh, get them in there and see if they can... Uh, have so their I, characteristics rub off onto uh, see, Chick, that's 30 nice guys and 30 bad if guys. If you took three, if you took uh, 100 10-year-olds or right. whatever, 10-year-old right. boys, let's say, and mm -hmm. three of them were just cussing up a storm, would the 97 others start cussing or would they convert the three? Uh, boys? Yes. yes. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah. maybe birds have the same... Hmm. Mentality? Right, right. That it's just this too boys exciting. Boys will be boys. No, like, this is, no you know, they don't know. The, the analogy is uh, like the greasers and the outsiders. Yeah. Right? Uh, uh, I see hitting everybody. I yeah. love that book. You know, hey, pony boy, I ain't no sosh. You know, you can see the parrots saying that. Uh, sure. Yeah, you could. <laughs> mm. I think your uh, idea is good, Josh. I think that the I think the boy parrots would now. You're, would the would the lady parrots similarly? I don't. I take it back. If, if you did the experiment with with little girls, would they do the same thing? That's a good question. You're right. I don't. But know. with par parrots, don't know that they're cussing, so the excitement of cussing isn't there for them. Right. So I, Whereas little true. boys know they're cussing, yes, and they shouldn't yeah. be. So yeah. it's like. Uh. And little boys can't fly, as far as we know. So no, oh, I think only like two and two and ten can fly. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. But parrots can't really fly either that far, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. They can. No, I don't they think can. they can. They can fly. Yeah, right. Tens of thousands of loose ones in Southern California. Yeah. Yeah. You, have to, to, you put a, have to put them in a mailbox and shove them out with a, a bathroom plunger. Okay. Yeah, you do have to kind of howitzer them out. Get them started. Right, yes. That's what I thought. Yeah. Do you ever see out in the country they have those really long, tall, high mailboxes that say air mail? Do you remember? Do you ever see that? <laughs> so <laughs> serious. I love country humor. Oh, okay. my gosh. You mean those aren't real? They're just decorative? <laughs> yes. Love those. Huh. I didn't there know was that. one on my way to church all the time. I would laugh so hard every time I, I saw that. I love rural Air. comedy. No, it's so hot. Off of there. Highway 44 uh, in the St. Louis area, there are two water towers. One says hot, the other says cold. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Very funny. What about the uh, the I wooden uh, cutouts of the man, uh, the uh, lady bending over into her garden? Sure. Oh, yeah. sure, like in, yes. in spotted bloomers or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. Universal. <laughs> hilarious. Just hilarious. I was, a good, I was like 15 or 16 when I found out that that those weren't just mushrooms. I oh. thought they were <laughs> like Mario Brother mushrooms. And somebody went, no, it's a lady bending over. <laughs> uh, 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 and I went, you know what? That's funnier. Well, the uh, the uh, squawking parrots, the cursing parrots, uh, have made the international news wire two days in a row. So it's a big story. I think a lot of people are going to go see these. these, uh, these I wish we had audio. We don't have any audio of them, do we? That's got to be out there eventually. Oh, got to. Where, where is it again? It's in, in, uh, uh, in England. England, Lincolnshire. Oh, well, we got a, we'll do a li live show from the Cussing Parrots. Yeah, it's a squawk. <laughs> yeah, hello. <laughs> squawk, squawk. Uh, yeah. Bitch. Bitch better make Polly a cracker sandwich, bitch. Uh, are there expletives in, in England that are different than here? Yeah, bollocks. Uh, bloody, I know. You, can't, bloody, say, yeah. you can't say bloody on the radio. Yeah, the C yeah. word's a lot bigger. Well, yeah. I knew that. that... A lot more popular, yeah. Well, yeah, a lot more powerful here, though.
Yes, right. very, very yeah. much. Over so. there, they use it all the time. Yeah. You can't say bugger on the radio over there. Right. Yeah. That's you don't. Really? Know. That's a big one. Yeah. Oh. And don't ask anybody for a pack of, pack of cigarettes. Just, yeah. Just, oh, yeah. Just, oh, just, oh, oh, very oh, often. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Okay. Very good. Very uh, good. Uh, what's, what's coming up? Coming up, we will have more scientific news in the world of animals. This time, including a video camera that captures the colors that animals actually see. By the way, I saw yesterday on the internet a golden retriever came over. You heard in the background the owner going, uh, honey or pepper or whatever the dog's name was. Where are you? And the golden retriever bends over, picks up the lady's phone, and takes off with it. And it's the best 10 minutes I spent all day yesterday. <laughs> this dog running around, and every now and then, the camera would switch around somehow, and, and you could see where the dog was running. Oh, the phone was recording. Oh, the phone okay. was yeah. recording video as this dog was, it was <laughs> the best. And there's oh. another one with a little girl who comes and grabs a phone. It's the same thing. <laughs> oh, sounds Just hilarious. hilarious. Uh, coming up. That's why the internet is here. Christy, we have the syndrome you mentioned earlier. Yeah, we cheesy have, penis. Uh, 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 More cheesy she, penis? Yes, yes. <laughs> No, thank you. I'm, I'm stuffed. And, uh, and a right. visit from Frank Sinatra up next. What? Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your Bob and Tom fix. I can't help but notice, sir, you're wearing extremely tight, um, uh, what are those called? They are called Lycra Spandex Pursuit Pants. Uh, now, is, pursuit? That a, is that a potato in the front there? Or, uh, <laughs> Tom. Glad to see you. Tom. <laughs> Tom. Tom. Sorry. Is it? <laughs> Looks like Jim and the twins are pretty cozy this morning, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Never hurts to advertise. Yeah, right? I guess it does. Oh, my God. Thank you very much, sir. He's smuggling <laughs> topsoil for an offshore development project. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I always end well. A White Castle. Really? Yeah. I was, uh, God, I was so drunk I thought I was in McDonald's. I ordered a quarter pounder. I got 500 hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say to you? Help me. Hey, thank you. Pick a number between 1 and 50. We'll ask our guest, then I'll just hit a random sound effect. We'll see if it fits the commercial. All right. 150, Clinton. Pick a number. 35. 35. That's Andy Moore Ford. Uh, 35. Here we go. Heavenly deals. At there you go. <laughs> <laughs> You'll think you've died and gone to pick car another. Heaven. Pick another number. And Andy Moore for uh, 27. 27. Andy Moore for <laughs> electrifying deals. At Andy Moore. <laughs> okay, pick another number. Go ahead, Clint. A any number. Eight. Eight? Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, dear. They have body <laughs> shop. <laughs> they have a body shop. <laughs> and they more four. Any other number? Go ahead. Pick one more. Nineteen. That's... <laughs> That's our manager screaming at the fabulous deals you'll find Where is that? at Andy Moore Ford. This is the Bob and Tom it's Show. On, morning. It's Man, I wish I'd lived here today's show. Me too. <laughs> um, I wish I was here. You know, there's a reason I'd never heard of this band. Why? Because this guy had to have his penis cut off at publicity. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I prefer I prefer musicians who can actually make it on their skill, not on their lack of a dick. <laughs> so. Yikes. I, I knew you'd have I know how to make it in show That's business. That's what I <laughs> Yikes. I know how to make it in show business. First we whip it out, and then we take a cleaver. Mm -hmm. How does he pee? Okay. Sitting down. <laughs> or all yeah. over the place. Yeah, well, <laughs> that was the video. Of the no, that's not true, Clint. How does he pee? Depends. <laughs> Okay, ooh, never mind. Ooh. Sorry I asked. Hard copy all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> this is exclusive. Dogs die in the cargo hold? Occasionally. Occasionally. And then they just replace them with a dog that looks similar. They got a big <laughs> they got a big dog farm for these things. Now all the airlines share the same dog yeah, farm. Yeah, uh, Dave, uh, Dave, we need a shih tzu. Uh, uh, brown face, white feet. Uh, we need a, we need a sh shih tzu, uh, gate C27. Uh, it's a number yeah, eight. Yeah. Bring us that and, number eight. Uh, another, another newfie uh, coming, in, uh, coming in on United. Try to take care of that. Yeah, he's you? stiffer in a board. Come on in. Okay. <laughs> the big danger at this time of year is the heat. If you, you know, they were down there and if the plane is delayed on the, you know, tarmac for any reason, it can be a problem. Mm -hmm. so, mm. That was just a story this week that came out. Do the People right thing. Drive your dog. Warning Jeez. folks that are flying their dogs about that. There you go. I ain't making this up. And if it's a small dog, like a little tiny little hand dog. Yeah, you can put it underneath your seat. No, just throw it out the window because those aren't real dogs. <laughs> <laughs> those aren't real dogs. This is cool. You know, I like doing radio. How can you change a dinosaur's name? I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah. halfway through. You know halfway the, through. <laughs> do you know what the smallest dinosaur was? Uh, what? The clitoris. <laughs> 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 a little red, <laughs> pinkish. Dinosaur. Well, congratulations. Wow. You <laughs> finally got it, it on finally the air. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Way to go. <laughs> See, all that, all that filthy lunch talk, and now it's on the air. Are you happy now? Little Are you a big man saying uh, clitoris? Is that it? <laughs> See, I always thought the, I thought the smallest one was the lick a lot of puss, but apparently. <laughs> Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day, parties, or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. My old girlfriend's name. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. She must really love you. Call me old fashioned. But, you know, hell, you got the tattoo. Why not? <laughs> My wife actually got pregnant on her wedding night. Oh, oh she did? Yeah. Oh. Not by me. Oh. Uh, crazy night. But either way, I'm getting a brother. So. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. I don't think her parents like me, though, because apparently when you uh, meet someone's mother, you're not supposed to hug her and go, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Cooperman is here with us. Hey. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Uh, good. Dave, a young guy, young comedian, good-looking guy, uh, married man, I understand. I am. How's I am. that going? Right now, we're I guess we're working on having kids and stuff. And, cool. But we're having some trouble, you know, and... She's blaming me because she's not getting pregnant. And I'm like, honey, you realize we actually have to have sex, okay? <laughs> Screwing with my head will not make you pregnant. How many times I got So we're thinking about, you know, we're talking about kids. Even that, even naming a kid is a challenge if we have one, you know. I want my kid to know he's both Jewish and Chinese. The best I've come up with so far is cha-ching. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe lump sum. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Very much triple A. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin. Hey. He will have a song this time, right? All right. I Pat's got a song, and I got a little way to get to it, Pat. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. As I mentioned, the, uh, the cursing parrot story uh, for the second day in a row has hit the international newswire. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, it's uh, kind of a funny story about... Um, some parrots were donated to the zoo, and they started hanging with the other parrots. And They're hoping that the eight swearing parrots will stop swearing and being around the 92 who don't. I got this uh, nice letter here. Uh, thank you very much, uh, David. Uh, he uh, is a veteran of the United States Navy. When in the Navy, I visited a zoo in Thailand. They had an aviary full of cockatoos. They cussed way worse than I did, and I'm a sailor. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Dave. Uh, so, um, Davey was in the Navy. Yeah. Uh, the um, I think uh, a lot of people sort of teach their parrots to whatever exotic birds they have to curse. Of course they do. Yeah. And, uh, it can be a problem. But this is a big thing. They're, they're trying to, they're, the, the experiment is, are the, are the 
birds that don't curse going to pick up the cursing or vice versa. Yeah, I think they are. Mm-hmm. And I think more people are going to go see him because it's funny. Uh, but uh, you have a... Wait a minute. Who's in the room with you there? Oh, Frank's here to chime in a little bit. Is that right? Hey. Hey, get out of the way there. How's everybody doing this morning? Good. Hey, Chairman. You know me, I had the birds. Uh, I had the aggrets. I had a <laughs> oh, few. You remember yeah. that, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I had these... Cr- Thank you very much, Frank. Uh, old blue. Good night. What time is it? <laughs> well, good morning. Uh, uh, Christy Lee once again is uh, astride the news chair at the news desk. What else is happening? Are you uncircumcised? This story is for you. Doctors are warning men of a condition known as cheesy penis. In a cheesy penis. <laughs> she syndrome. gets so excited. I do. About it. <laughs> and is this, what's it called? It's called cheesy penis syndrome, yeah. often mistaken for an STD. Dr. Lawrence Cunningham states that cheesy... It's, uh, pro- it's pronounced Cunningham. <laughs> cheesy penis syndrome refers sense. to smegma. <laughs> it's not pronounced that way. Smegma, a mixture of dead skin cells, oils, and other bodily fluids that accumulates where the skin is not cleaned properly. Right. He said it's generally found out... <laughs> Far too familiar. Yeah. ...on the genitals, <laughs> particularly in men under the foreskin. Mm-hmm. As for the nickname... Smegma can have a consistency like soft cheese. Come on with and this. And a strong, unpleasant. Oh, hence the cheesy okay. syndrome oh. thing. Okay. Yikes. Right. While not an STD, smegma can lead to infections and inflammation if the skin continues to remain unclean. Is smegma one of the video game companies? Hmm. Sega. Smeg. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Smeg is an appliance company. Yeah, Smeg yeah, makes Smeg. a nice refrigerator. Very nice seen toaster. Those. I had a yeah. toaster, didn't care for it. Really? Mm-mm. Switched. Mm. That's right. Oh, out, out of smeg. Mm. Really? It got all cheesy on it. Yeah. Uh, whatever you put in there, whatever you put in there, it ended up you'd come out and have cheese on it. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, to get rid of cheesy penis syndrome, wash yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would Especially think it'd be. Under the it, daily. it would be fairly avoidable. You would think. If, if you have a hooded dong, just give it an extra <laughs> once over. <laughs> Seems pretty Thank you. obvious. I thought you were doing a poem there for a second. <laughs> Remember, if you have a hooded dong, don't let it be too long. Or you wash your schlong. Yeah, the yeah, there you go. Clean, cleaning. Between, uh, cleaning of, between cleanings of your schlong, I think we got it. We nailed it. We can help Speaking all these people. Speaking of that, recent research also indicates that breathing in pure oxygen may be as effective as ED drugs or for treating erectile dysfunction. Urologists treated a portion of their study participants with oxygen. Another group was given Cialis daily for a month, and a third group had no treatment. Men who breathed pure oxygen for 90 minutes a day experienced an average 50% improvement wait, 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 in wait, wait. their erectile function. 90 minutes a day? Yeah, now you have to have tanks sitting around your yeah. house. <laughs> I'm just doing this. Hey, study. baby, it'll be... Uh, Another 42 minutes, I'll be ready. Just gotta... I don't think you have to do the 90 minutes right prior to when you do it. It's, but still, that's <laughs> I know. a burden to... <laughs> it's a burden. Hey, listen, would you tell the boss I can't come in? No, 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 I'm just getting ready for my boner later today. The breathing of oxygen uh, actually showed similar improvements to that with the Cialis group. The findings published in the journal International Urology and Nephrology... Men in the oxygen group were seated in hyperbaric chambers, similar to those used to treat oh, divers. So it's even more ridiculous. Uh-huh. Exactly. It's a and very, you, you don't just have a tank for you have 90 to, minutes. You have to get a Michael Jackson room. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, taking a pill seems a lot easier, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, although, Pat, maybe you can adapt that. What's that, that thing you have, that CPAP mask? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe you can adapt oxygen that. Oxygen in that sucker, huh? 
Yeah. What is in that? Just water or something? What? A uh, water tank, a little tiny tank, and then uh, com- air. Oh, so that's just air, though. Yeah, uh-huh. it's could not you, oxygen. Could you just adapt air. it to be oxygen? Uh, you, you probably could. Yeah, sure. Well, there you go. The right what about price. nitrous? Could you put nitrous in there for the right price? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'll, briefly, I'll, I'll I be could, over I, about twenty. I could do that. Yeah. No He'd oxygen that in that. Would oh, kill you get man. oxygen. Shut Two up. Minutes. We get enough oxygen. Here, watch this. Oxygen. Oh, <laughs> that's right. enough to last you four hours. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> get off my back. You work with you. See if you don't need nitrogen. We waste more oxygen than we use. Absolutely. <laughs> Always get the gas it when just you go to the dentist. Off. It just floats off into the air. What do you think farts are? The oxygen uh, we don't uh, use. That's right. Uh, really. uh, methane? Yeah. yeah. No, it's the oxygen we don't <laughs> use. So, uh... That's you have extra oxygen. I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, everybody does. Yeah. So that's yeah. not your O face. It's your O two face. That's exactly right. Let's <laughs> get spewing don't, out all that oxygen. Don't encourage him. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I. This is ridiculous. Yes. Yeah, nobody has ninety minutes to sit. It's interesting, day. but it's just not. Yeah. <laughs> well, improved blood flow, improved airflow. Yeah. That would make sense. Right. That's what makes things. Exciting. Open up and yeah, yeah. exactly. It's the blood vessels. And is it just breathing it, or does do you have to be surrounded by in the chamber by the oxygen penetrating your sac? And no, it's just no. getting into your body and being processed. <laughs> just asking. Yeah, you got to hook up your you got to hook up your thing to he was an just oxygen to make tank. I don't, know I don't know that oxygen can just permeate your. Sac. How do you know? <laughs> you can't breathe through it. Come on. <laughs> It seems like uh, those little pills would be a lot easier. Yeah. Okay. Speaking um, of research, there's little, another you know, song. it would be. Uh, do they use regular oxygen? What other kind is there? There's something called coxygen. Oh yeah? Uh, yeah. Is that what they may have been using? <laughs> All right, everybody, get comfortable. It's called coxygen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's What's that, uh, Tom? Well, there's a There's a C in front of it. <laughs> oh, there's a little bit of carbon. <laughs> a touch of carbon. Yeah. It might make your nose a little dark in the end. That's about it. That's, that's the magic of contemporary science. Uh, what do you have coming up, Christy Lee? Other uh, than your breakfast. <laughs> yeah. okay. Coming up, we have unusual items blocking the sewer pipes in Britain. We have a pastor who claims the Lord told him to steal. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Lord? Yeah. Not the a Lord. Lord. Oh, the Lord. This is a really good one, though. Huh. It's, yeah. it's a really contemporary spin on uh, on uh, on tithing, if you will. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, it's 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 really good. Uh, now, um, among other things, uh, we have uh, coming up tomorrow a special event. We do. We're gonna have a special guest. We're gonna be having a bunch of uh, folks in the building. Oh, I gotta dress up. Joining us, yeah, you'll want to dress up. Yeah. I got my coffee guy coming, chick. Oh, oh. no Andy's kidding! Coming? We have a live a live barista right? tomorrow. Yes, yeah. wow. Fun. Very excited. About How's it. your compound? Is it secure? Yeah. Oh, well, compound? not as secure as yours, I'll be honest. Compound Jake. secure. That's why you need Simply Safe, the design it yourself, do it yourself home security system, and voted best home security of 2023 by U.S. News and World Report. We trust Simply Safe in our homes and recommend it to everybody. Here's why. I love it. Simply Safe comprehensive protection for the whole home with advanced sensors, detect break ins, fires, floods. Powered by 24 7 professional monitoring, costs less than a dollar a day, half the price of traditional home security. Simply Safe prioritizes your privacy. That's why their indoor security cameras are the only ones on the market with physical privacy shutters to ensure your privacy 24 7. And satisfaction is guaranteed. Try Simply Safe for 60 days risk free if you don't love it. Return your system for a full refund. Keep your home and family safer than ever in the new year. And as a Bob and Tom Show listener, we have a deal for you. Save 20% on your new system with the Fast Protect plan. Just visit simplysafetom.com. Customize your system in just minutes at simplysafetom.com. Remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. Uh, and uh, we have um, also coming up. I think on Friday where it's going to be the official shoeing of the week. Now, Chickster's already posted his pictures. Yes, on, his, excuse uh, me, your pics rather. Yeah, on Instagram, the Chick McGee. Go, go check him out. And we're going to talk with one of our big green egg mini max Gardner Wisconsin cheese winners to pick against Chick McGee. Mm-hmm. And uh, once again, when we come back, we have uh, uh, folks fleeing the police and an update on that doomsday clock. Mm. Hey, that's a fun bunch, isn't it? We'll find out about that coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Mike McRae, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Thanks, Mike. Joe DeRosa is sitting in with us right now, Joe. Uh, 
what else what else is going on in your life uh, what, what, what about your personal background big family small background as a small family what uh, uh I'm in a relatively small family that I was adopted mm-hmm. ah. into. Uh-huh. Yes. Interesting. And I know what... You every- were de- adopted into the DeRosa family? Yes, I was. Uh-huh. And I know what everybody is wondering, because mm. I always, you know, did you ever look for your... Did you ever look for your real parents? Yeah. That's what everybody wants to know. Did you ever... I saw that on Maury. Did you ever... Try to find your real parents? Uh, no, I pretty much took the hint, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, when they right. abandoned me, uh, I was like, yeah. that's, that's probably, that's the end of that. Probably no, no, yeah. no sense in looking for them, really. Uh, I got you. Okay. Uh-huh. Really. Uh-huh. I'm sure there's a lot of Dropping gold. Dropping a dime on a lot of, mom and dad. A lot of gold comedy down this yeah. road. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and now I have a very, like, my mother was very overprotective through my whole life, and mm-hmm. but uh, she's uh, she's very involved in my life, and she uh, she calls me almost uh, every day, every day, and holds me hostage on the phone for hours on end. <laughs> while she she just she's at this age where she just holds me on the phone and just asks me all these really annoying questions, and she won't let me hang up, and mm-hmm. it it just sounds like I'm having really bad phone sex for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> just like uh, yes. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I already told you what I was wearing. <laughs> People were taking the chicken from Chick Fil A and putting it on Cheddar Bay biscuits. Josh is leaving right now. Josh is leaving. Okay, let's go. Greatest day of my life. I do like porn, uh, but I'm going to ask you guys a favor. We get a lot of emails sent to the show. You can stop sending me porn clips, okay? I, uh, thanks, but no thanks. I, I appreciate it, but I'll be honest, I want to find my own porn, okay? <laughs> T-Rex doesn't want to be fed. T-Rex wants to hunt. That's... <laughs> Third and goal. Hit golden showers. Tate on a slant that was initially ruled a touchdown with eight seconds left. After review, the play was overturned. As you can see, he's short of the goal line. Uh, no, he's not. And... Yes, he is. He's way short of the goal line. He's like half. He's like an entire ball short of the goal line. The football, Tom. Uh, so that's with eight seconds left. They had to stop play. Look at the re- review that. But then, due to a rule that causes a ten-second runoff when a clock is stopped by officials and then restarted, the game ended. What? With what? eight seconds left. What's they the point so they of that another play? In theory, the Lions could have lined up with a fourth down play as time expired. But the initial call of a touchdown is actually what disallowed. That possibility. God. Why? The rule exists because the rules committee led by Don Shula, <laughs> the only cops on he wheels in sons of bitches. I hate all. He tries. He says, You made me do it. You've got to do it. He says, Okay. So he tries to get him on. Can't do it. He says, I can't even get these past my thighs. He says, I can't get into these panties. He says, Yeah. And until you change your attitude, you're not going to either, partner. <laughs> <laughs> a true tale from the old west. That concludes another exciting episode. Uh, Murray, Murray whiskey, Murray whiskey. Frontier, frontier pyromaniac idiot. over here. What are you? You're lighting up the studio. Yeah, Bob? this thing it's not working. I'm sorry. Nothing. Just... Brought to you by that new Japanese Jewish restaurant, Sosumi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Murray. <laughs> Hi, this is Nick Griffin, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. You guys can't see the camera, but Christy just 
Just I have very like she was getting hands. ready to eat a giant Subway sandwich. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Yeah, by the way, Christy, I, I think maybe the reason it's been a while since you had a date is if that's your standard, <laughs> we're going to need a horse. No, 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 no. no. Oh, my gosh. No. Did you see her Did hands? See? Yeah, yeah. She, 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 is, she, is, she is very well like for she herself. She, she was about to drop whatever she was imagining because the grass was so wide. I was thinking right. of a sausage roll. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, Not okay. a penis. Well, all right. Show, show us how you hold the penis. <laughs> Do the penis hold, Christy. Now we're going to get rested again. Stop it. Depends on if it's one hand or two. (laughs) It's time once again for People Who Suck at Small Talk. (laughs) Hey, nice weather we're having today, don't you think? (laughs) Yeah, it it is rather amazing the cyclical manner in in which meteorological trends manifest themselves. (laughs) Jeez, sorry I f***. (laughs) Ass. <laughs> Join us again next time for People Who Suck at Small Talk. <laughs> Bob and Tom 24 7. Not on air, online, all the time. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Here we are, rolling we are. right along. There's Tom over there. Yeah, we do. Being, being busy. Talking to uh, Roy Wood Jr. He's, uh, Looking for love, by the way. Single dad. I mentioned, Somewhat. I mentioned oh, he, looking for love. He'd gone on the, uh, said he'd gone on some of the dating apps, including Farmers Only. Uh, and uh, Christy, you said that you tried going on to Farmers Yeah, Only. not one response. Hmm. That was interesting. Really That's wanted, really shocking. I really wanted to go out with a farmer yeah. back well, in the day. It's never too Nothing. late. Never I'm married late. now. Well, happily. it's never too. Have late. you ever seen the one uh, for um, what is it? Uh, it's for lumberjacks. I have not. Yeah, timber. Oh, <laughs> it's, uh, really good. Day. <laughs> timber, you see, it's hardwood. Um, um, I thought coxygen was the low water. <laughs> oh no, no, oh, no, no. There's, there's plenty of room. Timber, <laughs> plenty of room. <laughs> uh, <laughs> plenty of places to go. Um, let's see now. I got a nice letter here from um, United States Marine Corps veteran Jacob. Ooh. Hi, Jacob. Jacob. Hoorah. Thank you for your um, he is currently uh, hauling milk. Oh. He's uh, driving around a truck. And he goes, uh, I have Thursday night off. I am going to see Kostaki Economopolis in Jackson, Michigan. Excellent. It's my hometown. I'm super excited. It's my first comedy show. Well, it'll be Aww. a good one. Yeah, make sure you say hello to him. Jacob, Aww. thank you very much for your service. My friend and, uh, Chris is going to that with a bunch of his buddies, too. I just got an email from him saying, oh, can't right, wait that's to see great. Kostaki. Thursday night, Jackson. Uh, Friday night, uh, Portage, Michigan. Saturday night, Gaylord, Michigan. Not too far from Harbor Springs. And um, let's see, uh, Hastings, Nebraska on February uh, 10th. But uh, the, the ones coming up this weekend with Kostaki Economopolis, our NFL correspondent. Tom, isn't Portage what, like, a ship carries? I thought a a crossing, when, when, I when you do a portage, it means like if you're canoeing, you pick up your canoe and you yeah. you, you, you portage, portage across, across the, the land. Oh, I got you. Oh, so is Portage, Michigan, near water? Uh, everything in Michigan is near water. So oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, I have a question. Drive more than. Can we minutes. talk about anything else? Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> we yeah, have. Then you take your canoe and you. Uh, okay, <laughs> well, I, was canoe just, I couldn't remember what portage was. Well, look it up. Okay. I learned what a palisade was the other day. I had no idea. It's a car. <laughs> yeah, the, the 2029 Nissan Palisade. Palisade. Yeah, yeah. I thought it, I'd never drive mind. it off a cliff. Never mind. <laughs> you know, if you can't, you, you put, it, put it up on your shoulder and carry it across. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. Is there a Portage Lee. Palisade? Tom, Palisade is a park, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. You know who wrote that song? Yes, I do. Chuck Barris. That's right. Nope. It's one of Chick's favorite songs. Trivia question. It's the most aggressive <laughs> vocal <laughs> in the history of recorded music. I haven't heard that in a while. <laughs> Palisade There's a reason Park? for that. I'm Isn't sure that pl- uh, Freddy Boom Boom Cannon? <laughs> I'm sure it's playing in your car. <laughs> <laughs> I just recently watched the Gong Show movie. Oh, oh. my gosh. You, I've, no, I've never met anybody who's actually seen that. Where did you see the Gong Show movie? It's one of the, uh, the uh, movie channels I have. No kidding. Isn't it notoriously awful? Very slow. <laughs> It's, uh, it's Ace's uh, pick for best picture. This year. Yeah. Isn't it about the wacky goings on behind, behind the scenes? The scenes yeah. of is it the a goings? documentary? No, 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 no. <laughs> it was like this. I can't believe they made that. That's amazing. That's and incredible. how people audition and stuff like that, and how horrible it is. Oh. Is Murray Langston in it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, is the that unknown the comic? unknown comic? Yes. The guy with the paper yeah. bag. What on about his Gene head? Gene the Dancing Machine? He's got to be. I believe it. so. 
Man, one of the great ironies in life, he's he's either missing one or both feet now. Oh, I had no idea. Isn't that a, a, an incredible irony? It's that Gene the dancing thing. machine lost his legs? I'm surprised he's still alive. He was uh, uh, when Confessions of a Dangerous Mind came out about Chuck Barris. That's quite a while ago. Now, so, there's a movie. So yeah, watch, watch, watch that yeah. one. Okay. Now, in the meantime, <clears throat> by request. <laughs> is it Palisades Park? Uh, I'm trying what to find that? Palisades yeah. Park. What the hell is oh, this? Oh, here it is. Oh, this is the one you want right here, I think. Check out this vocal. <laughs> You don't know how to work your... Oh, don't <laughs> be mean, That's supposed Dan. to be muted when I turn on anymore. Uh, no, I'm it's a shame sorry. when the adult uh, try, <laughs> try to wrestle with technology. He's not gonna be, it? It's not going to be taken away until he hurts someone. Uh, <laughs> Probably him. <laughs> you wanted to hear that turd, not me. I did not. <laughs> He's he asked the one. it. Asked it. Asked for it. Freddy Boom Boom. Did he have any other hits? Uh, I think he did um, Fire and Rain. <laughs> Isn't it? He did the original. He actually did that. Yeah. Oh, really? The original, yeah. Oh, really? I'm so I say fire, I say rain. I woke up this morning, <laughs> realized you were gone. <laughs> Suicide. Well, I've seen fire and rain now. <laughs> And your dad, okay, good. God, well, we're not going to get one better than that. Boom, boom. Don't let JT Wait, hear that before. Kill the baby. <laughs> boom, boom. Get a drink, boom, boom, you're done. Okay. Boom, boom. Christy, for God's sake, change the subject. A report from the Colorado Division of Securities has a story. Well, this, this should be exciting. It is. <laughs> no, this is a good one. Uh, Paint is continuing to dry. Next. <laughs> a Colorado-based pastor for an online church has been accused of pocketing $1.3 million through a cryptocurrency fraud scheme. Huh. Pastor Eli Rigaldo and his wife marketed their cryptocurrency INDX coin. I hope her name is Tammy something. To or, Christian yeah. communities in Denver saying God told him people would become wealthy if they invested. This is ridiculous. Index coin raised nearly 3.2 million. At least 1.3 mil of that went directly to the regalados, regalados, or was used for their own personal benefit, according to a complaint filed in Denver County District Court. In a video statement, he told his congregation that the Lord told him to do it. He said <laughs> God had come to him in a dream asked him to do so, and accepted that he and his wife spent the funds, quote, in a home remodel that the Lord told us to do. Isn't of that course, nice? Yes. Of course, yes. Thou yeah. shalt take thy cash yes. and get marble tops. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah. That's Thou what... shalt get a steam shower. Mm. Oh. Man. God. This that guy. is unfortunate. You know, could, and the had, devil made him do it, not the but Lord. To throw the Lord under the bus. Right. Yeah, ridiculous. Um, but yeah, amazing that he got, he collected what, three some million dollars people million. gave this guy? Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm. Mm. What does it, what'd they call it? Index? What is it? I-N-D-X, indexcoin.com. I would have called it tithe coin. Mm. Gives it even more of a religious spin. Uh, so your gripe is poor marketing? I'm no, this guy must be a great well. marketer if he got, yeah. if he raised three plus million dollars from idiots that were stupid enough to... Hey, hey, people, don't blame the victims here. <laughs> yeah, you're dumb enough to... No, I mean, we don't know what the sales pitch was. It could have been amazing. Yeah. Oh, well, then where's all their money? 
I, that doesn't have anything. Exactly. Where's all the money that made off you lost know, you for people? You know, you take an issue right. and you come at it like... From the, <laughs> no, this guy's a crook. Exactly. Well, of course he, he is. is a crook, but not the people who... Madoff the, the was poor, a crook. Right. What about all those people? The poor Were people who crooks? invested. Well, I could you know, have been I, a crook if they hadn't been so gullible. I've invested here and there. I've never had the broker friend of mine go, you know something, I got a phone call from God this morning. He, they he may not have been told that. told me to uh, buy the index fund coin, whatever the hell it is. Index you don't know that. No, that's what they were told. Up front or after the fact? No, they were told up front. If you want to buy this, this is God's will that you become wealthy. Wealthy, yeah. All right. They marketed it here. What does it say? Just here? don't call them morons. People they marketed believe it. in God. They marketed it saying God told him they would become wealthy yeah. to the people he was selling it to. Well, they didn't know that it was going to his house being rebuilt. Well, they should have looked around. Wow, hey, it's a nice private jet you've got. You're just not correct in <laughs> judging those people. That's a pretty cool Range Rover. I guess your <laughs> index fund's doing okay, huh? Yeah, where's my cut? Uh, scientists, if you believe in God, you might want to pray. They call it the doomsday clock. It's a metaphor for how close humanity is to self-annihilation. It means nothing. According to the Bulletin of the Atomic well, it Scientists... What, it depends what time zone you're in. Yeah. Which is no. the clock. I mean, if you're in the doomsday clock of the Eastern Time Zone. It's just arbitrary. It's, it's not... Since 1947. Let's move Because it up. of current world events and turmoil... Let's move it up. The doomsday clock remains close to midnight, oh, signaling yeah. a dangerous potential risk of global right. catastrophe. Very, very you close. You ever seen the doomsday clock, John? <sighs> no. Is, is it actually a thing? Yes. Yeah. It actually looks like a clock. Yeah. yeah. And Where? Uh, and your host is uh, Ryan Seacrest. He does that. <laughs> and he does everything. He does I would say it's, uh, it's one, of those, fantastic. Uh, <laughs> one of those swishy uh, Netherlands or mm -hmm. Swiss. You can go well, look at the Dane, Doomsday Clock. Yes. Wow. You certainly can. So it's like, what is it? What time is it on the Doomsday Clock? Citing ominous trends, the report says the symbolic right? clock remains at 90 seconds before midnight. Oh, 11 30. Yeah. Holy hell. I'm no. not worried about 11. it. 11. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Look at this. It's not even a cool looking clock. No, it's a it's an it's a very old I looking clock. I thought it was just yeah, symbolic yeah. that it really isn't exist. Well, no, they've got it. They can take <laughs> pictures next it's to it. It's not really. This is like cardboard or it's whatever. It's not much. Yeah. yeah. They it do it looks the best like, they can. It looks like a big paper protractor they, exactly. you have in your first day of math. Boy, oh boy. Bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yeah, it's hey, why make the time uh, oh, constructing geez. a doomsday so, clock? So they only the only show the they only show the yeah, these negative Nancys. The northwest quarter of the clock. Right. They're not showing the whole thing. Well, you get the idea. But they're saying it'll never get better than 9 p.m.? No, it's midnight. Ding dong. No, no. Midnight's doomsday. Right. So they're not. They're saying that we'll never get to 5 p.m. Why don't they? they couldn't, the world won't ever be they that They couldn't good. have a full. As, as it is, we what? know that we, as young people can't read analog clocks anyway. Wait a minute. What What time do you see when you look at that clock? I see 9, I'm, I'm, uh, 9 10, 11, 12. It's 11.58. No, I'm not looking at the hands, dope. I'm looking at the, the dots. <laughs> yeah, what, are what you do you mean, I the miss, dots? What do you mean, do, what dots? Those indicate that those, never mind. It's I miss Palisades Park. Yeah. I do, no, I mean Honestly, too. when I look at it, I see a piece of pizza. <laughs> well, it is kind of looks like a pepperoni pizza. Big, big piece of pizza. <laughs> nine o'clock? Where do you get nine o'clock Chick, from? you really didn't see... Look, the Chick, time set is close to midnight. Chick, would you like to be on the committee? Yes, there you go. But the lowest you can go is nine o'clock. Yeah. Yes. Only okay. That's what I'm right. saying. Oh, okay. So I'm saying they're negative because we... It it's can't, never, never any farther away Would you like to be on yes. the committee? It's never been... <laughs> shut up. It's never been... Well, you're bitching that you're not on the committee that picks the all-star... Wait team. a minute, hold it just a second here. You mean Is there a committee a that votes on the Doomsday Clock? I yeah. could be on the Doomsday Committee? Sure. Oh, I might like to get a hold of that. <laughs> I don't know. Did you see the other people on the committee in that picture I showed you? Oh, I'd be the bully of the committee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you could push them around. All right, you bunch. Of <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that one guy with the, the blue shirt and the messy hair. Yeah, he's oh, oh. he's a punk, isn't he? <laughs> oh, okay. It's got to be a fun bunch. He goes, hey, uh, hey, what you doing? Miss a button? Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, yeah. Do they reset it every New Year? Is that the deal? I have no idea. I think it's based solely on events around yeah, the world. I think it okay. can change through the year if something goes on. Because they're, they're saying yeah. things are so bad right now that world annihilation is just around the corner. No, yeah, 90, 90 seconds? 1950. No, oh, my 19, God, that guy does need to iron his shirt, doesn't he? Yeah, look, oh, yeah. Hey, 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 and look at that. Uh, ninth <laughs> grade? Look at the female. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like a... It's one before midnight. It looks like a, a game show set. <laughs> I'm hungry. Looks like Drew Carey's about to walk out and start selling the thing. No Does this dress this make my dick look big? <laughs> <laughs> no one said anything to me. All, all right. 
big my hand. Uh, all right. <laughs> Could we move on? <laughs> How come your knuckles aren't this hairy? Here's your downer for the day. <laughs> Worse than that one? Yes. Charles Osgood passed away. I don't oh, know. he did? Oh, 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 no, here's a rhyme about it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Charles anchored CBS Sunday morning for more than two decades, hosted the long-running radio program, The Osgood File. And uh, he, he won't away. need those glasses on his head Tuesday. because as of yesterday, the man is dead. Thank you, Chip. Thank you <laughs> for the nice exactly time. right. Very yeah. I always liked him. I loved him. Yeah. 91 years old, passed away at his home in Saddle River, New Jersey. Nah, boy. Yeah. Remember who he replaced? Uh, uh, boy. The guy in that monkey? Uh, Bob Keeshan. Frankly, <laughs> no. Bob Keeshan? <laughs> Captain Kangaroo? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I know Jane Pauley replaced him, but I don't know who was on before Charles. Um, oh, Charles Carroll. Charles Carroll. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. And remember when he died? Remember what happened? Yeah, we yeah. found out he had another two, two family. Two family. <laughs> it turns out that yes. <laughs> he had another another whole set of <laughs> families didn't know about the other one. Yeah, well, that's, that's, why sounds... he was, that's why he was on the road all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, it sounds like work. <laughs> yeah. Try pulling, the, try pulling that off now. Man. Yeah, you could never do could that. Barely do one family. Someone's doing it. You you someone, someone you listening to this show is doing in this it. day and age. Yes. Oh God, yes. Has a secret family. <laughs> yes. There are some parts yes. that would be more difficult with technology, right? And I bet there are some parts that are infinitely easier with the technology we have. Oh. Absolutely. Wake up. Smell the coffee <laughs> that is possibly perking in another home you own. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of work. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that's done, but. All right. <laughs> any, more, any more sad stuff? Or are you going to... No. I'm still laughing about... The doomsday clock? <laughs> <laughs> right. The guys in the doomsday clock come in the picture. Oh, jeez. You see what Martha's wearing today? <laughs> we oh, got man. Does she have a mirror? Oh, <laughs> Officials at the JFK airport seized over 40 pounds of cocaine. Oh, yeah. Man. It's going to be a great day. And in the catch of the day, bags of jumbo shrimp. Customs officers inspecting the luggage of a 22-year-old man from Guyana <laughs> found loose clothing and multiple packages of frozen jumbo shrimp wrapped in sealed plastic. <laughs> the Fed said the packages were cut open, revealing a white powdery substance that tested positive for cocaine. About 40 pounds of cocaine was seized. The man was taken into custody for alleged smuggling. I feel bad for the shrimp. They're clearly having a party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peel and snort. <laughs> the um, uh, uh, how, wouldn't they th have thawed anyway? Yeah, I would have thought. I mean, you yeah, said I don't it, know how far it's he was going. Packed with loose clothing and frozen bags of shrimp. Yes, that hmm. had to smell good. Yeah, that's Ooh. not gonna. What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, not all drug smugglers are bright. Top drawer. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can't get They're good people in drugs. Right? That's right. the problem. It is difficult. A couple right. of your leaders are okay, but then uh, after that, yeah, your and secondary employees are not. Mm. In well, Louisiana, I think it sounds police. all right. A little shrimp cocktail. Oh. oh. No, no, no. Laughter only. <laughs> I don't want your. Uh, <laughs> did they have? Did they have to have cocktail sauce? Thank uh, you very yes. much. Uh, oh, Tom's so up. stupid. Thanks. <laughs> um. It's kind of, I don't know. It seems like a dumb way to do it. Well, how would you do it? <laughs> well, you wouldn't. You can't put, you like, hear this story and go, God, that's odd. Instead of going, oh, that's a stupid way to do that. I, can it. <laughs> I think you put you it, lunatic. I think you put it up your ass. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Now 40, you know, you have to work up to that. Yeah, 40 pounds is going to be a, that's a tough go. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be up all night. If you want to envision that, Those imagine, Elvis numbers. imagine a bag of salt there's, you put in a water salt. Yeah. <laughs> there's up, a documentary. Up, up the bum. What? About drug mules and how many tablets that they prepare the drugs in the poof. In the, they look like contact capsules. Remember those? Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. those big. And, and they're just they, on an airplane sweating. They've, got, they, and they've, they've swallowed, I don't know, 150 of right, them? Right, right. Yeah. They're miserable. Oh. It's nuts. But it's nuts. Terrified one's going to tear. Right. Uh, what a horrible way to have to make Watch the movie uh, Maria Full of Grace. It's a wonderful movie, but it is a tough watch. Yeah, that's what it's about. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yikes, she's a smuggler? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Does she end up living? Uh, you can't tell no me. Spoiler, spoiler alert. Right. Okay. That she becomes know. a superhero. Okay, uh, what, what's coming up, Christina? We're going to talk a we little bit. We have more of... drug suspects in the news. We what? got uh, Sexy Spuspect. Time with Allie Breen. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. Of course, coming up. A uh, special event tomorrow on this show. 
We're going to have an audience and a live band. And, uh, oh, so we got to wear pants? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just Makeup. tomorrow. Just tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Um, right now, I want to remind you that uh, I can take care of that Valentine's Day problem you may be having. Valentine's Day just around the corner. You can knock that off your list immediately. If you listen to me right now, go to IHateStevenSinger.com. And uh, I'll give you a hint. The uh, operative color is Malibu pink. I'm talking about those roses from Steven Singer Jewelers. Gold dipped. 24 karat gold. A real rose dipped in gold. And then artisans paint it Malibu pink on those petals. And there's a bunch of colors available. Malibu pink is just the big one this year. And uh, these roses start at just 59 bucks. And Steven Singer makes sure that they come with a beautiful personalized Valentine's Day card. A free lifetime guarantee, of course. And they arrive in a beautiful signature gift box. Order them right now. Or order them today before 2 o'clock Eastern time. They're out the door and on their way to you. And once again, uh, it's, a, it's a done deal. It's ready to rock right there. You're not going to have to do anything else. Just take that rose and give it to her. Uh, beware of knockoffs and copycats. Get the real thing from IHateStevenSinger.com. While you're there, check out the bracelets, the necklaces, et cetera, et cetera, diamond stuff. You can't go wrong for Valentine's Day, but you got to take care of it now. You don't want to be the guy buying the roses from the guy under the bridge with the cardboard sign on Valentine's Day afternoon. You know, the ones he just stole from a graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be that idiot. Come on. I'm just painting a picture for you. I hate Stevensinger.com. Get it done today. Now, when we come back, we're going to pretty soon a little bit of sexy time. With Allie Breen, this is the Bob and Tom Show. This is the Bob and Tom. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. A Swedish sexual rights group unilaterally proclaimed a new English term for what it considers one of the most misunderstood parts of the female anatomy. Oh, who's, yeah. who's this group? I'm sorry. A Swedish sexual rights group. Okay. They want to change the name of the hymen to the vaginal cor uh, corona. The vaginal corona? C-O-R-O-N-A. So does that mean it's still Isn't there? Isn't that corona? If there's a lime in it. <laughs> what? C-O-R-O-N-A. Corona, right? What is uh, Corona. Isn't that already taken? Uh, vaginal oh. corona? No, no. Isn't corona already used in anatomy? Well, uh, not vaginal corona. Not vaginally. You can add the names. Um, but vaginal corona. Was, who was upset about the word hymen? The group hoped the new term would displace the traditional Swedish word for hymen, which is too long and too weird for me to pronounce, uh, which translates literally as virginity membrane and led to misconceptions about female sexuality. Oh, it's the, uh, you pronounce that the fenortner. The fenortner? The fenortner. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, actually, I think it's, it's the plug and vagin. The, 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 the fenortner. <laughs> the plug and vagin. The plug and vagin. <laughs> the bark, 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 bark. <laughs> See, Come on. Go with the See why I sat on this story uh, for two hours? Come on, I'm now. Worried about I'm it's classic, like Yankees. You're not going to get rid of that. But it was... So this is just the Swedish. <laughs> they don't want to change the English term. They just want to go... This no, is just for well, the Swedish language. So I yes, see. the Swedish. Uh, the Swedish. Because of the so, guilt associated with... So it would be if as it if... it breaks before you actually... Right. What? ...have sex. So yeah, in case you... What's have the loose translation? Corona has then? burst. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? And what do you how mean could, the loose how could that I'm, I'm, I'm confused. So and what's the new what's the new Swedish that? word? Vaginal corona. But that's English. I don't know what the Swedish word is. But they're the ones changing it. I know, but it's uh, hard to pronounce. I guess. Durkin, Durkin. <laughs> don't the Swedes uh, with Tiger? Don't they have enough trouble right now? No, shouldn't they yeah. just be quiet about stuff for a little while. Yeah, but you know, it's sex, sex, sex over there. <clears throat> it is, isn't it? Well, yeah. They but... are way ahead of us sexually. I can't yeah. argue with that. Well, I can't wait to see the commercials. Yeah. If you get a corona, they got the one right now where the limes are being. They're they're playing uh, uh, the oh, finger flip football. Fi finger flip football yeah. with limes. Oh yeah, yeah. You the can other, imagine the other if one all of a sudden there's a hymen a, involved in that. The guy's skipping rocks and then he skips his. Uh, phone. Do you see the one where the woman and the man are sitting there in the lounge chairs looking out at the ocean, and the girl walks by, yeah. and the guy spends a little bit too much time looking at her. Yeah, and, and she, she squeezes him. the line. He he waits way too long to react. He jumps late. It's because they're acting. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a bad job. And, he, and the, the actor <laughs> just is a bad job. used to have a big squirted in his face. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. And the, the last thing that actor's interested uh, in is a woman walking by in a bikini. That's probably That's where the acting is. Yeah. Let me get that phone call. Bob and Tom Show. Hi, man, it's Donnie Biker. Hey, Donnie. Oh, hi, Donnie. I think I've solved this puzzle while they're changing Hama to Coronas. Yeah. yeah. Well, because everybody knows in fourth grade, you know, English class, you learn about hymens. I mean, certain words are hominated. Super bow, low pitch, <laughs> doghouse. No, but that's hyphen. It's all hominated. Punt, pass, and kick, all of them. Punt, okay, pass, and kick? Okay, those are hyphens. <laughs> hyphens. <laughs> okay, we'll find out more about uh, Vaginal corona. Hy hymen talk. We'll come back. I'm very confused when we return. <laughs> know it all. about i mean it was very you know very romantic we met at a uh, dunkin donuts so. <laughs> oh, oh, she wow. hates that joke. she I'll bet. hates that i'll joke. bet she yeah. does it is a weird job for a woman to have but it has its advantages i mean what other job can you think of where the woman comes home every single night with handcuffs so sure hey, hey. we got a little game we like to play called held for questioning <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the downside, yeah. my wife carries a gun. Oh, good point. Which makes PMS a whole different ball game <laughs> in my house. <laughs> Our toilet seat stays down. <laughs> <laughs> I take no chances. I pee in the tub or out in the yard. I don't even, I don't even mess with uh, I don't blame you. Uh, yeah, my wife is a, 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 a cop. It's very weird being in bed with a cop. Do you know I'm how embarrassing it is to be in the middle of making love to your wife and all of a sudden you hear, what's your hurry, pal? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why I stopped you? <laughs> Do you know how fast you were going? <laughs> I got to wear radar detector on my wiener. <laughs> it's a fuzz buster. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Mike Perbiglia, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Right now, Killer Bees joins us in the studio. Uh, Bees, how you doing? Real good, man. Well, I get up a you. shopping list over here. My wife's eating in bed now. She's at that part of the pregnancy where they crave all this food. Mm -hmm. Some people have mirrors over the bed. We got a sneeze guard. <laughs> 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 Sleeping on those posturpedic sealer meal, man. <laughs> hey, you ain't live till you're making love, and your wife says, "Go slow. I'm spilling my chili." <laughs> The Detroit Pistons, former champs of basketball. I have so many souvenirs, it's hard to list them all. I have piston pants, I have piston shorts, I have piston beer mugs. Sometimes people don't even notice. I have piston ashtrays, I have piston shoes, I have piston basketballs. When I dribble, they do too. Essential morning radio, all day and all night. Really? No, seriously. Really? Bob and Tom Show. Hello and welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Here's Tom to tell us who's stronger than dirt. Stronger than dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's B.O., if yeah. I remember correctly. Uh, my, my buddy, Freddie. Freddie. Freddie's, Freddie's B.O. He is stronger, stronger than, than dirt. dirt. Since he used to sing when I was a kid. Oh, poor Freddie. <laughs> oh, he cried himself <laughs> every night. He cried himself. Did Freddie actually have B.O.? No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he, was just, he was a red-haired kid, and everybody picked on him. Oh, oh poor boy. redheads. I, 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 I noticed you're talking about him in the past tense. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I haven't checked in on him. Well, incredibly successful. Hmm. Probably some sad, rich guy ending. <laughs> oh, um, let's see. Uh, he works at the Doomsday Clock, people. Uh, that's what I heard. <laughs> oh. Now, um, do you know that that uh, Stronger Than Dirt jingle was incorporated in a Doors song? You know that, don't you? Uh, yeah, you've told me that. I... I uh, 
Uh, how about Let's that? Let's talk about this. Me. Oh, it's, a great, it's a great story. I won't, won't bore you with it. But right now, we, we turn to Christy Lee once again at the news desk. New research carried out by a drainage pipe manufacturer reveals some of the strangest things plumbers have found blocking the pipes <laughs> in the UK. Right? Oh, yeah. Is that right? This is from Heating, Ventilation, and Plumbing Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> it's in it now, by the way. It's it's the paper edition. Can I see your Google search, just hard, hard please? To well, don't tell me. I, I'm waiting to get home. My my issue is due today. Oh, I'm so sorry, <laughs> Chick. I might be spoiling one of the big All articles right. this month. I think so. All right. Some of the strangest things. A two-man tent and sleeping bag. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> In the towel oh. and pipes. I don't know if that means yeah. blocking so the, yeah, in blocking. the sewage pipes. Yeah, someone flushed it. There's no way you could. Flush well, that's why it blocked the pipes. And what about these two poor lost campers? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where are they? <laughs> come, on, come on, let's get our priorities we here. Gotta find we got to find these two. <laughs> How do you cram a sleeping bag down a toilet? I mean, that seems no. in, it, why impossible. Why do you? That does seem impossible. I'm with you. <laughs> you you had kids, didn't you ever have, to have the plumber come over and? Yes, no. but Tom, a sleeping bag. That would, that's I, a, that's no. an all-day job shoving a sleeping bag <laughs> yes, into a toilet. No I can't do it. My house over the one I had over here. Yes, Barbie doll. Yeah, I know that, but that's a lot smaller oh, than a sleeping I'm, bag. You don't want to take it back. If you found a Barbie doll, you'll get a Barbie doll. A sleeping bag. I just want to say when, yeah. when that plumber pulled Oops. out Barbie, she loved it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, that filthy, filthy Barbie. Ah. Oh, that was the uh, the limited the, uh, edition Blumpkin Barbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah pop. <laughs> Coprophilia Barbie. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. So these these are things pulled out of toilets in England. Okay. Well, well. in pipes, found in pipes. So in we don't pipes. know what pipes. I don't know. Yeah, they could have been stuck down a manhole cover or something. I don't know. Legos. That sure. Seems yeah, yeah, I can see. Of course. That. Rubber ducks. All right. Well, you know, yeah, you know, some kids got a little thing. He's singing the rubber ducky song, watching it float around the bowl, and then and flushes it. Spins, it. So oh, it spins look, around. Ducky gone. Do they have Sesame Street in uh, England? Sure. Well, yeah. Mm, yes. It's only in a different uh, accent. It's a semi street. <laughs> yeah, the characters don't have teeth. <laughs> yes. Right, here we go. Oh, dental hygiene. Oh, <laughs> Somebody told me yesterday they ha they saw a person that had braces on their dogs. Has anybody ever heard of that? If that is now a thing, I say we go ahead and push the doomsday clock all the way to midnight. Huh. Have you ever heard no. of that? No. Maybe the dog had a problem with uh maybe there's some other right there must have been a severe there issue well be, there are right? certain yeah. there are certain breeds that have that big underbite but you're not but supposed you to fix it you are you put braces on no your you dog. sure wouldn't you put Would veneers you? On that's got to be a real weird thing maybe yeah. the dog Thank was in you. an accident uh they didn't <laughs> say that but okay uh back to uh, our you, pipes did you ever know anybody that had to have their uh, jaw wired shot yes sure yeah. the girl that people, lived behind me in high school i know some people i'd like to have their jaw and wired. it was an underbite issue the person got surgery to fix either a, a severe overbite or underbite and uh, he was my my dad's friend or i'm sorry my friend's dad and they were wired shot yeah did he have to, for like months yeah my a friend that had done he had to carry around a pair of wire cutters in case he ever vomited in an emergency oh wow he could cut him this was in high school the girl was in an accident and she shattered her jaw i guess and yeah. she had to have it shut so she had everything oh everything was in a straw yeah obviously. and you just could use yeah, the talk, talk like this yeah. Yeah. and her boyfriend dug like brando no <laughs> <laughs> and she wore that perfume charlie do you remember that kind i will perfume. never forget the smell kinda of new, that kind of now charlie, charlie. yeah remember right. who did the jingle no who did the jingle go ahead Live from, wasn't it, was it at the Plaza Hotel? You don't know his name. Who was it? I'm the one who knows his name. I'm proving it. Then tell me what it was. You tell me what it was. <laughs> oh, here we go. You looked at me like I'm your pet. To, oh, I know. To fill in your name for you. Kind I'm not of, doing I know. They showed him. Was it at Bobby the, Short, your turn. Was it at the Plaza Hotel? Yeah. Was Although he, he had it shortened. the piano? Oddly, he had it shortened for Bobby Short, short your turd. <laughs> oh, I see. Bobby Short. Uh, Slavic, right? Yeah. Kind of now, kind of wow. Charlie. Charlie. It was a perfume. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. She reeked My mom used to wear that. that. Really? Yeah, until my dad found out that I said, hey, mom smells like Charlie, and he was a Vietnam vet. He got real mad. Oh, yeah, he was a combat veteran. <laughs> I, she gets, you can see how it upset him. Thank you very much. Christy did a spit take. Okay. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> See what? Yeah. Was it, in, in all truth, hmm. Josh's dad was a badass combat well, veteran in Vietnam. Well, yeah, so was I. In the army. And, yeah. Oh. <laughs> More strange things plumbers have found blocking the pipes in the UK. But dental floss isn't one of them. Uh, enough with oh, the yeah. <laughs> Socks. Socks. Ever had to flush a sock? No. 
Why would you flush a sock? Well. <laughs> you want to get caught? I didn't want my parents to know what I was uh -huh. doing in my off there time. There you go. <laughs> so you flush the whole sock. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Sex toys. Oh, boy. False yeah, teeth. Yeah. I could see. I could see the teeth, yeah. What? False That's got to be an accident. Falls in oh, the yeah. toilet. Yeah. Just go ahead and flush it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I was, I the, the sex toys are probably trying to hide them, and they just throw them in there and flush. I wonder what down there. Oh, my God. I've got five false teeth. What's happening? I've got teeth. i pop teeth up there down there. Right down there. Thing here. Uh, Grandpa, we know. There's nothing we can do about it. Where's that hair? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody get Grandpa. The next one's weird. Turkey bones. I could see that. Brussels sprouts? Oh, I hate Brussels sprouts. Oh, you know what I bet this was? Yeah. What? A kid. Yeah. Didn't, Ooh, want, uh, didn't want to eat them. Yep. Oh. Maybe even, we used to pull this at, at my, my brother's and I, we'd get a mouthful of something we didn't want to eat and then go, uh, and then yeah. have bathroom, to go to the bathroom yeah. and we'd spit it into the toilet. You know, just because every news story we have, you say, I used to do this, I used to do that, doesn't make you Everything interesting. Everything is like mine. <laughs> You're not interesting, okay? He's, he's exactly right. Did you do the the napkin trick where you'd put it in your napkin and wad it up and yeah. hide it until yeah, we everybody walked out of the kitchen and then you could throw it away? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> bananas. Oh. Hmm. Bananas. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> uh, just one or the whole bunch? It just says bananas. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> are we done with that? We're these, done. Are, these are all things that were flushed. <laughs> I don't know if they were flushed, but they were found in a pipe, yes. All right. The sleeping bag is the most concerning. That doesn't make any... And a two-man any... tent. Right, right. It's, yeah. It's, it's baffling. Why would you have to be ditching that? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Legal reasons. <you> know. <laughs> oh, okay. Sex toys and Legos and a rubber ducky. Oh. Brussels sprouts and the bones of a turkey. <laughs> nope, turkey and ducky don't run. False teeth, bananas, <laughs> Still and something don't. else. I'm, these are things you shouldn't use to wipe. Why? <laughs> <Down the drain. laughs> okay. Wipe with a turkey leg. Uh, okay. Uh, when we come back, we're just a few minutes away from sexy time with Allie Breen. Always look forward to that. And what else have you got over there, Christy? Uh, coming up, we have the colors of the world that animals see. How do they know? Megalodon in the news, a guy hiding in a dryer, and um, some news out of South Dakota. We'll talk about Why that. hasn't Disney come out with a Megalodon cartoon and called him Don the Megalodon? <laughs> Why? It's just sitting there. You mean he's like a mafia guy? Don the Megalodon. No, his name's Don, like oh. Donnie. <laughs> Never mind. What about Megalodonny? Megalodon. he's a friendly Megalodon yeah. who's misunderstood. Hi. Okay. I know I look good. <laughs> Like a big terrifying, shirt, terrifying <laughs> large shark. Okay, uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules. Hi, he's Bob. I'm Bob, and he's Tom, and I'm Tom. <laughs> in praise of the Indianapolis Colts. In a great praise. Phenomenal. Here's Amazing. to a big Super Bowl win this next and, year. Uh, we hope that you get to sing the national anthem at the Indy 500 next year, Luciano. Big a star like me, how are they going to refuse? Bob, a lot of celebrities were in town for mm -hmm. the Indianapolis 500, which of course took place yesterday, including a guy from the National Association of Broadcasters who has honored us by stopping by our show this morning. Of course, I'm talking about Mr. Ralph Bonarama. Hey, guys. I just want to let you know that uh, I really respect what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a shame that more kids can't go watch your show. I oh, it's on radio. Well, never mind, man. You may wonder about the uh, Hoosier Dome, they call it. Now, when the Colts moved here, they were considering changing their names to the Trojans, and we were going to rename this place the Condome. This guy walks into a psychiatrist. Yeah. He says, I, I feel like I'm a dog. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. The psychiatrist says, how long have you felt this way? He says, ever since I was a puppy. <laughs> Go by. All right, it's it's a helium money, so we should do this properly. Okay. You ready to sing along with it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Here we go. It's helium money. That's right. The high point of your week's arrive. It's helium money with Bob and Tom. That's us, Bob and Tom. And uh, by golly. 
Is it by, by God, you can listen to In My Not. <laughs> you can. K-I-Z-Z-F-M. Kiz. Kiz. <laughs> Lucky that doesn't start with a J. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> That'll be one hell of a radio Stop station. it. Stop it. We'll be coming right back. <laughs> it's new. Wax off. <laughs> Remove old wax and give your car a high gloss shine with wax off. Just jerk off the top and spray a smidgen on your vehicle and apply it with vigorous up and down motions. Uh -huh. uh, Dr. Ruth, he kept undressing me with his eyes. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ruth, can I get pregnant when a man undresses me with his eyes? Mm. Only if he's cockeyed. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. Put a little extra menthol there on your cigarette. Yeah, nice. Oh, like yeah. Mm, yeah. Haji, put that shaving foam down. Haji, would you like to give your street address? Maybe that'll help, help some people contact you after seeing this tape. Yeah, Dick. But the type of people that'll be contacting you are medical experimenters, okay? Dick. I wonder if they replace his heart with a gallstone, if his body will still work. <laughs> this portion of our show is uh, brought to you by Walenda Brothers Coffee. Good to the last drop. <laughs> new law firm in the news today. Really? Yeah, three famous uh, attorneys have formed a new law firm. Oh, really? Who are yeah, they? Uh, Gary Hart, Ted Kennedy, and uh, Richard Nixon. What's it called? It's called Dick'em, Dunk'em, and Cheat'em. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't make fun of Gary Hart anymore. Why? The guy, I mean, he was... He was six inches away of becoming president, you know what I mean? <laughs> Keep it in your pants, Jimmy. Get on your knees and pray. And when you get a Woody, when you get home and take your What are we talking about Woody Hayes? Of course. <laughs> So why do they have one of the main thoroughfares for people and then say, why don't they build a little uh, a tunnel, tunnel or a bridge? Hey, oh, what a great idea. Guy from, you, guy from USAC goes, <laughs> golly, Earl, that might be a pretty good idea. <laughs> hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, Jalapeno, ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. the game it's different that's like having <laughs> stock in a company yeah but if uh -huh. you're just gonna be a, a loud mouth you know beer fueled ass bag in the stands pick the underdog <laughs> rooting for the yankees is like going to a casino and cheering for the house <laughs> you're already supposed to win you're standing behind the blackjack table going oh dealer busted your ass bitch oh that's my dealer i got my dealer jersey on. <laughs> hi this is kostaki economopolis and you're listening to bob and tom radio Comedian at uh, May has joined us in the studio. I've got a teenager daughter. Don't send girls to school. You cannot send girls to school w without the right kind of clothes. Oh. They become outcast amongst their peers. Oh, right. yes. Going to school became a stinking fashion show. Mm -hmm. We're school shopping. My daughter tells me she's going to need new blue jeans. Okay. I go to Walmart. I get her new blue jeans. Well, you think I pooped in her lunch bucket or something. <laughs> <laughs> she wads them up, throws them back at me. She goes, ah, Mother, what are those? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, teenage daughters look like this. Yeah, they and, and all teenage girls seem to think the sound 
is a word. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Pay close attention. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello. Jessica Alsman is here. Hey. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Howdy. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Thank you, Roger. I, we were talking about um, this article in some obscure magazine about uh, what, things that are stuck in the sewer system in Britain. Uh-huh. Um, I got this uh, nice letter from Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Mandy. Mandy works at a sewer plant. Oh. We find condoms, feminine hygiene products, kids' toys. Small pets. Adult toys. Oh. And occasionally money. Oh. Wow. She goes, I found $5 once, <laughs> bought a lottery <laughs> ticket, and wait. won 50 Okay, wait wow. a minute. She found $5. Cleaned or not cleaned? Well, I am, but presumably <laughs> she ran it through the appropriate. Oh. A 150 bucks. Yeah. That's awesome. Nice. There you go. Yeah. So one of the few benefits of, well, I uh, got work here. I want 50 bucks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, May. Thank you for taking for the time and trouble to write us, Bob and Tom at bobandtom.com. Speaking of a washing money. Yeah. And uh, laundries and that sort of thing. We do have a, a, a dryer in the news. Police in Louisiana say they found a suspected drug dealer hiding inside a dryer. According to do court documents, officers arrived at a Monroe home looking to apprehend the 26-year-old accused of selling crack. Mm. Investigators encountered the man's 19-year-old girlfriend and an 18-year-old man who allegedly argued with officers over the search claimed the suspect was not home. However... They detected movement in the kitchen where they found the 26-year-old hidden inside the dryer. All three individuals were taken into custody. I mean, come on. Must that... be a little guy. Yeah, but wouldn't that be kind yeah. of square? I mean, wouldn't like the first day of police academy? They... You look inside the dryer? I wouldn't think that. No. no. <laughs> I couldn't climb into a dryer. No. How many How people can fit it? into a dryer? You could fit in a dryer. Oh, you are tiny. In fact, <laughs> tomorrow in the show. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Maybe he's a little guy. Yeah. I mean, he, he had he, to be a little. He guy. was inside the dryer. Right. Of course, that's risky. What if it? What if the door locks? Oh yeah, someone would have to let him out. You can't let yourself out. I don't think you My can. My dryer doesn't lock. Does your dryer lock? Yeah, the door. Oh, locks. Yeah, it, it kind of latches. It and I don't latches. know if you can. Could you push it from the inside? I don't know though? that you can. My dryer has a uh, lock and key. Really? I like to uh, oh. keep an eye on the dryer. <laughs> yeah, you got to make sure. That's right. That's right. That's uh, my stuff in there. <laughs> way, way, way back in the day when I lived in the trailer park, we had a um, clubhouse that had a laundromat underneath. Yeah. You know, everybody went there. And uh, kids being kids, we would put kids in those commercial dryers. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Turn them on? Hell yes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Uh, Take a ride in the dryer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Nobody got hurt? Nope. Did we didn't take the heat on. You do, I'm not... not oh, oh, just the spin, oh. yeah. Yeah, just okay. a tumble. Oh, just a, a tumble. Just a tumble. tumble. tumble <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Tumble dry. <laughs> I'm sure that the concussions they received... Yeah. Are tumble coming for, back to yeah. Oh, that's not a good song. Did you no. hear when, when, they, when, they, uh, when they caught this kid hiding in the dryer when they, when they when came out? Uh-huh. He only had one sock on. Oh, what happens to that other one? I, Boy, that is something. I don't know. Someone call Mr. Seinfeld and ask him. What the hell? Uh, they laundering money. I don't know, but seriously. And uh, residents of Custer, South Dakota, burned a giant effigy of a destructive bug plaguing their region. No reason to cuss. Now an annual tradition dubbed Burning Beetle Fest. Hundreds of people carrying torches set fire to the wooden structure while chanting burn, beetle, burn, and drum beats. And that's an alarming sentence. Yeah. Hundreds of people carrying torches. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yikes. The event both raises awareness of the impact of the mountain pine beetle oh. on forest land in the Black Hills and supports the local arts. The Black Hills have experienced several outbreaks of the beetle since the 1890s, the most recent being from 1996 to 2016 that affected 703 square miles. Wow, they hung around for a while. Yeah, that's, they've done a lot of destruction. Aw. But, um, yeah, they go in cycles. Oh, these, like these, cicadas? 
He's, yeah, yeah, but they destroy lots and lots of trees. It's sad. You heard about the cicadas. Yeah. What's going on with the cicadas? It's going to be a banner year. Oh, There's really? Two big cicadas Which, coming out at the same time. 2024? Yes, 2024 spring. Our, okay. Yeah, Midwest. Oh, wow. Did we just be have it? Hard. That was a different. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. They're so, so loud. So Rude. these black black hills beetles, they're, yes. they are going to be extinct or they're... They're trying to kill them all. Well, they haven't. They, they haven't had a, an insurgent since 2016. Oh, so hopefully they. But stay Peter away. Jackson is working on a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Really? Oh, the Burning Beetle Fest. <laughs> Very good. That's incredibly obscure. <laughs> is like it that, that obscure? Yeah. Didn't we talk about it every day for three weeks? No. Talk yes. more about the Grand Funk Railroad Silverado <laughs> truck commercial. It's a, great, it's a great commercial. I hope the guys from the band are getting the money. Scientists have created a new camera system that captures the world as animals see it. The camera simultaneously records video in four color channels, blue, green, red, and UV. Well, if it's my dogs, there's going to be a lot of bee holes. <laughs> <laughs> this data is processed into perceptual units that are used to create an accurate video of how those colors are perceived by animals. How do they know? Based on ex existing knowledge of the photoceptors in their eyes. That's how they know. Well, Okay. A lot of guesswork, I'm sure. Don't dogs see yellow? Is that one of the colors? That when they, they pee. See? Oh. <laughs> bright, bright yellow. I thought, I thought dogs were black and white. I did yeah, too, I but I thought white. yellow stood out for some reason. So They uh, have amazing uh, vision. They're just quiet about it. Yeah, they don't yeah. brag. They don't want to brag about it. They're humble. And cats uh -huh. are like predator where they have heat vision. Or yeah, they do UV. have some weird, yeah. They, they say, yeah. They, they can do. see heat coming off of a prey? Is that what? I don't know. They can see weirdly. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a great reason to have one in your home. Yeah, very scientific. Weirdly. They can also find the ghosts. They Ooh. always see those. Huh. What, cats see ghosts? Oh, yeah. They'll just be like freaking out, watching the ceiling and tweaking. That's when they see Hey, stuff. somebody stop my car, will you? <laughs> okay, thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, they, uh, but don't all pets do that? And little kids what? will just look up in a corner and kind of talk. Yeah. Like, what the hell are they talking at? So, the guy I went to high school with does that. He doesn't ever look at you. He looks up and then, yeah, when he's oh. talking to you. It's the wildest thing you've ever seen. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Called him the ghost hunter. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Uh, all right. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right. So so the point of this camera is, uh, are they going to mount it on animals? I don't know, Tom. <laughs> yeah. Kind of Why the, would they mount it on animals? To get, get the real view. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, think about your dogs. They're always looking up at you. Your dogs think you're tall. Here dogs we go. Th your dogs think you're tall. Yeah. Well, well we, are we are tall, tall. to dogs. dogs. <laughs> My point is very well taken. Thank you for acknowledging it. What are we talking about? We're talking about a camera that they say makes you see like you're an animal. Hmm. I don't so, think we see. They just want to show us videos of what the animals are uh, seeing. Right now, I'm seeing. I'm at upskirt.com. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that would be a, a pet's view. <laughs> I'll have to. I'm in it's like I need the, to research this. The one. GoPro for crotches. Oh. I, uh, mm -mm. I'm, I'm sorry. Our uh, last story of the day. Scientists from the University of California, Riverside, say the megalodon may have been less mega than previously believed. This isn't true at all. There Studies of the gigantic shark <laughs> that went extinct 3.6 million years ago wow. had assumed that the creature may have reached lengths of at least 50 feet, possibly as much as 65 feet. It's undeniable fact. No, but it's... Wait. However, <laughs> it's in debate. The megalodon, largely known only from its teeth and vertebrae and See, the fossil so record. It's based on its teeth. I shut up, I'm listening to Chris. So maybe it was just a <laughs> maybe it was a small shark with just big buckers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, old, the old buckers. Got the big buckers. <laughs> <laughs> Researchers re-examined the fossil record, determined that the megalodon was more slender and possibly even longer than they thought. Oh, I see. They said the modern Mako shark might serve as a better model for the extinct animal. More Mako, less great white. Yes, okay. right. This is because they had some women on the committee finally, and, you know, men always lie about fish. So they're going to gonna. <laughs> oh, my God. It was this big. Yeah. It had to be huge. Hmm. What a great gig that would be. There's no way to ever prove you're wrong. Right? Yeah. Well, when the megalodon surfaces... Because uh, there are still some down you, in the, you you think think some there. Down, down there in the Mariana Trench, we have no idea what's down there. We keep wasting money on space exploration when we should be studying the oceans. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. 
Okay. Nothing to be found in space. Uh, uh, okay. Nothing to be found in uh, the ocean. Uh, now, uh, <laughs> uh, coming up, uh, we're going to talk uh, with uh, with uh, Ellie Breen about uh, adult relations, if you will. Sex. Uh, we call it sexy time. It's uh, what's, uh, mm-hmm. one of Doing my favorite it. parts of the show. Uh, When's the last time you did it? I want a date, Tom. A date. Last time you boned. I know you'd like a date. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's not, a, not available. Uh, right now, uh, this portion of the Bob and Tom Show is brought to you by our friends at HelloFresh. Ace Cosby has been doing the HelloFresh thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, the way this works is uh, HelloFresh does the grocery shopping, and then uh, they do the measuring, and they send you the box, and you put it together. We're talking restaurant-quality food, of course, fresh ingredients, and you're going to be able to uh, make stuff a little more exotic than you might want to do just on your own uh, because uh, you don't want to have to spend half an hour trying to find these various ingredients at the grocery store. And plus, you're not going to waste a bunch of it. Well, I had to buy an entire can of whatever and them so I could make this thing. No. They're just giving you all that you need for the particular recipe in question. They've got those famous quick and easy recipes now, by the way. And to celebrate 2024 and some of those heating goals you may have set for yourself, they've got those calorie smart and protein smart Hello Fresh recipes. What are you working on over there, Ace? I actually made this last night the sweet chili pork and cabbage stir fry with crispy onions. Four, in, four steps. Less than 20 minutes, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, there you uh, go. Thank you very much, Ace. Good eating, as you like to say. Hello Fresh. They'll send you the meals ready to put together and have some fun. It's a great way to teach yourself to cook, by the way, and to teach the kids how to cook. And right now you can get a free breakfast for life. I'll say that again, free breakfast for life, as long as you keep that subscription active with HelloFresh. So uh, check it out. All the details can be found at HelloFresh.com slash free. BT Show Free in honor of that one breakfast item per box while your prescription is active. The code BT Show Free, HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Save yourself time and money and get some great restaurant quality food. And you helped, as they used to say. <laughs> uh, when we come back, it's time to uh, examine relationships. And we got some pros here in the room. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> I've got something that'll cheer you up. We often uh, record announcements for various what, stations along the Bob and Tom oh, radio no. network. Right. And uh, the other I day... I thought, we, I'd hope you'd forgotten about this. The other day we were recording yeah, something too. and uh, you guys, as usual, were... <laughs> I honestly forgot about it. I do not know what this is. Are you kidding? I'm not. We were joking around. So we were uh, reading this uh, commercial for an interesting place, a fine place, and... Um, we had to. This is. This, these are what you would call an uh, an outtake version of it. Where did we did, will not be. Uh, We're not going to put them on our albums. The fifty um, studio outtake album. Oh, see, people would want to hear that. <laughs> it's like yeah. the Beatles again. Just like yeah. they'd want to hear Josh yesterday yeah. saying something <laughs> bad. He, a slip of the. He just yeah. said the oh, S word. It was an accident. I shouldn't be doing that. Uh, FCC doesn't recognize oh, that as the so called S word. I was in a vulnerable spot. Uh-huh. I know you were. I've apologized. I had no idea. I thought it was a part of the gag. Um, once again, uh, how, Josh and Chip dressed up as the that? girls in um, the little girl twins in The Shining. It was brilliantly <laughs> hilarious. It was very funny. Everything about it was funny. I think we have some photographs in the various bomb Great social media wigs, platforms. by the way. Hands off yes. to you. Yeah, I may have kept it. Okay, uh, here we go. This is. Um, <laughs> I would have. Well, this is what it sounds like when we're we've had a long day. We're trying to record a few. Yeah, if you think we don't get along on the air, wait till you hear this. <laughs> so this has been beep. This is the beep one. I'm assuming over here, Dean. Okay. <laughs> Oh, my God. No, why would he give you a non-beeped version? <laughs> maybe he's... Oh, yeah. Well, Dean's close to retirement. He might like to see the <laughs> But see, and maybe it's me, but it's like, well, of course, he forgot to beep everything. Uh, yeah. Do you guys remember the time that happened? One yes, time! That's one of my favorite things ever. In 90,000 shows, one yeah. time, God, he forgot was, to beep it. God, that was funny. It was funny. We were playing back something that had been beeped, but we, they just missed one of them. Yes. And the one they missed was the big one. I'll blow your... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. 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 Head off. Okay. So here we go. This is... Here's how it goes. We're trying to read a commercial. Bless you. Knock that off. <laughs> Out. Off. Anytime, Tom. What, are you having a little moment there? A little tea? He's rolling. Yes. I thought you gave me the wait sign. Sorry, they're they're all chomping at the bit in here. <laughs> Might as well be on the air. Hi. You thinking about f- for Thanksgiving? <laughs> I'm sexually frustrated just trying to fill out the damn dating app. How about adult toys, lingerie, lubes, lotions, potions? Okay, here we go. It's the Low Country's premier adult store. What kind of stuff do they have, Chick? What kind of stuff do they have, Tom? 
Adult toys. Ooh. So you're supposed to answer. <laughs> oh, sorry. What kind of stuff do they have, Chick? Well, adult toys, lingerie, lubes, lotions, potions. Leave the family fireworks at the Thanksgiving table and have some fireworks in the bedroom with your loved uh, one. Uh, oh, uh, did you guys know that has the best bachelorette supplies? Oh, cool. I know yes. they have fun furniture. Mm -hmm. And Josh... Yes. For you. Yes. A d straw. <laughs> well, they probably have those. I don't know that I would sip from one. But. Right. And of course, Josh, they have novelties. Right. All right. Well, You're I'm, novel. Now, Josh, why don't you do the tag at the end? Let's see. Of course, novel. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's <laughs> it's the only part. The only, only part you read verbatim. It's verbatim, pretty simple. It that says. means in Latin, read the whole. Oh. F <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. Sorry. laughs> the Low Country's premier adult store, 2992 Ashley Phosphate Road, or online at guiltypleasuressc.com. Why does it always sound like you're running out of air when you read stuff? <laughs> online at guilt. <laughs> 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 it doesn't stop you not sound at all like that. God, Tom. You know, he goes to, at the end, he goes, at guilty pleasures. <laughs> <laughs> can barely get the seas out of air. Yeah, I, I did run out of air there. And we learned what verbatim meant. I knew what it meant. <laughs> well, you were going so slow. We had places to go. What kind of furniture do they have? I don't know. Well, here's There's what happened. You store. Store. go online and look it up. I'm I sure bet they have, have sex a, chairs or swings. swings. Do they yeah. sell, yeah. Those, do oh, they sell okay. those male member straws? Haven't button? you ever had a Chinese basket job? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say no. What is that? Well, she hangs in a basket and yeah. maybe and she, and then you uh, put her and on spin and you spin her. Yeah. Oh. What? I'm going to have to try this. Yeah. Then she vomits all over you? From <laughs> sounds awful. What a weird, kinky guy you are. Toe. <laughs> Sexy Tom oh, is. Yeah. Wedding mm -hmm. on uh, Memorial Day, mm -hmm. another one on Labor Day. Mm -hmm. You guys have the friends like that. You're like, oh, great, your love's so special. You get to wreck my three-day weekend. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Maybe I'll have yeah. my funeral on the Super Bowl. How about that? How about that? I'll show you. Bring a snack. Uh... And the announcer for the Super Friends, dead on, too, by the way. I don't know who that guy was. Yeah, he was the guy who was after Ted Knight. Ted Knight did the original ones. Right. Like, Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie and Sarah Monroe, get ready. <laughs> Go, Aquaman, I want you on the golf course in five minutes. Chop, chop. <laughs> hey, Superman, you're going to free bowl a super that hat or what? <laughs> Talk to the judge. <laughs> you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> You're so weird. You have no idea. Essential Morning Radio. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom Radio. 24 7. 24 We're going to get called in. <laughs> No. Call yeah, we so. are. Uh -huh. he, he's not going to get called yeah. in. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. You're immune? Is that what you're saying? Uh, it's good to be Teflon the king. Tom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My favorite part is we'll be sitting around doing something. Say, yeah, why don't we get somebody to take care of that? Who could who could say something about that? And I go, every time, you! <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Hi, and we're back. Welcome time to back. Let's talk about sex, baby. All right. Uh, let's do it. You it's and me. Sexy time. And there Hit she it. is. Hit it. She's the, Hi, guys. Um, Hi, she Allie. Is the, uh, the goddess of sexy time. She's the lovely Allie Breen. How tall are you, Allie? Yes. How tall am I? Yeah. So you said uh, almost five six. Five foot six inches of love. <laughs> yeah. She's the blonde <laughs> bombshell Allie Breen. Yes. Uh, <laughs> she is uh, our sex uh, authority. Um, uh, apparently, we've taken a time machine back into 1968. How would you like to be introduced, <laughs> Allie? Would you like? Uh, I like the sexy time intro you usually give me. That down low. Oh, Sexy baby. time voice. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, from her. Thanks a lot, Allie. From her, <laughs> from her love pad in New York City. Allie, uh, <laughs> it's sexy time with Allie Breen. <laughs> this is a little inside comedy, but do you, are you still often introduced? Let's say there's uh, eight comedians on one show, and yeah. uh, you're the only female. Is it our next comedian is a female? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you st that still happens. Oh, that still happens. Also, because now people are so much prouder of having a female on the show because it's kind of mandatory, so they really need to point it out. <laughs> mm. 
I think they're going to kind of figure it out when you walk out. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you would imagine. Amazing. But it's supposedly a big deal on a college. Kind of are you guys ready for a lady? Yeah. <laughs> right. Can you believe we let them on stage? Exactly. <laughs> now, yeah. uh, do you ever get hit on after shows that by guys that it's think? It's happened, but it's pretty rare. I think guys get hit on a lot after shows. Women, not so much. I don't know that it's very attractive to be an opinionated woman up there with a microphone. Have you, ever, have you ever been hit on by another woman? I I mean, not related to comedy, but in real life I have. How'd that go? I've had a, a few <laughs> incidents. You know how it goes? By women. It's none of your business yeah, is right. how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm, I'm I've just been curious. hit on by a couple before. That's a real weird one. Oh, that wow. is oh, that, on. uh, that happened to me. One, that is interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's really flattering. <laughs> they, it's they flattering, both but it's also agree. weird. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Wow. Uh, well, uh, now Allie uh, it will be receiving your letters if you want to send them to her. It's uh, <laughs> A L L I B R E E N on all social media platforms, and ask us uh, to help you with your love troubles. What have we got for starters? All right, this first one's kind of a soap opera. Dear Allie, I went through a devastating breakup last year when I asked my girlfriend to marry me and she said no. Oh. We broke up when our lease ended a month later and a mutual friend of ours comforted me through it and we ended up dating. Hmm. Now I just found out that this friend of ours was telling my ex that I wasn't the one for her and that we shouldn't rush into marriage and should take a little break. Oh. So she actually caused my breakup. Oh. I thought I was now falling in love with her, but now I'm pretty upset and confused, although I'd be devastated if it ended. What should I do? You're wrong. That that woman did not cause your breakup. If you guys were meant to be together, you, you would have gotten past whatever she was saying. She was just telling her friend... Hey, I don't. This isn't right. And she was probably telling her friend something that her friend knew but didn't want to admit. Or was she trying to steal the guy away from her friend? This is kind of a gaslighting, no, gaslighting no. thing. No, I, think. I, don't I don't think it's so. any of that. This, if I liked a guy, my friend couldn't convince me not to. Exa exactly. Unless it's exactly. like, look, I caught him cheating. Blah blah blah. Right. That's true. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you guys like to think cynically, and uh, that's exactly correct. Yes, unfortunately, you're void of that quality. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness you're on solid ground. I am above any cynicism. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This is complicated. I, I don't know enough to know. Hmm. Both things could be true. I mean, she tried to cause the breakup. But it wouldn't have taken if the girl was actually in love with this guy. Right. I mean, yeah. and, uh, and if he re really liked the new girl, there's nothing that could happen that he right. wouldn't, you know, stay with her if he really liked her. Maybe this, end, this, see, this sounds like one of those dear penthouse letters that ends in a three-way. Oh, they all get together and they're yeah. a couple. They all get together. Yeah. And, hmm. Which is it never should suggest happen. it, even as a joke, probably. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Throw it out there. Okay, let's move on. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, dear Allie, for New Year's this year, we went to my wife's sister's house. My wife had too much to drink, and she went to lay down early. When midnight struck, I ended up kissing her sister, oh. which was supposed to be a peck. <laughs> Here we go. But it ended up being a pretty long, intimate kiss. Oh. Yeah, right. oh. Yikes. Right. It ended Now I can't stop thinking about it. Oh. Neither one of us have talked about it since, but our friends saw it happen, and so do I need to tell my wife, or should I talk to her sister? What oh. do I do? Oh, clock, is, clock is ticking. You are 24 uh, days late yeah. to telling your wife. Right. No, you just, just pack your bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, quit your job. Yeah, there's some really good gigs up change in Alaska right yeah. now. Yeah. You can change your name. It's real easy. Move yeah. To another state. Go yeah. work on an oil rig <laughs> yeah. outside of yeah. 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 off the coast of Texas. That's right. Yeah. Work for the, uh, yeah. the the doomsday clock people. They're working for the That's what I understand. Man, yeah. oh, man. You are screwed. Just a yep. In a way, you've you're free to you know you you've you've wiped the slate clean. Yourself up. Yeah. yeah, just just yeah. go. Not, not only uh, your wife, the whole family. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, you've yeah. you've in one fell swoop. Sure. <laughs> if you were trying, it's genius. <laughs> it's one beautiful move. The only huh. thing that saves you is that everybody saw it, so you weren't hiding it. So maybe yeah. that's a Wait plus a one for you. In a way, in a way, I see what you're saying. Right. It, it wasn't what? that they were trying to get so away. So everybody right. saw it. How does his wife yeah. not know about Already. it? Already. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. That's the thing. Yeah. And they she's waiting to hurt her. She's yeah. just waiting to pounce. Oh, I couldn't wait to tell the knows? wife. I'd be like, did you see what your husband did? You didn't see it. You were asleep, but this is what happened. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, not asleep. Not asleep. Passed out. 
So she yeah. deserves what happened. The wife <laughs> that, deserves to be what cheated you're on. Boy, you <laughs> are king <laughs> of blame the victim, aren't you? You really are. That's what you go to. Just saying. <laughs> it's your own damn fault. Uh, should have uh, uh, gone easy on the snobs. Yeah. Yeah. They should have yeah. Should have taken a, a problem. Take, to take, and take it a sharpie and drawn some big veiny right in her face. Uh, <laughs> and she wakes up. Oh, that would be Happy New attention. Year. Oh, I'm so hungover. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, your sister tastes better than you. I got news oh. for you. <laughs> Okay, we've done no work here that's worked any well. Uh, this is, is very effective. Let's try something else. What have you got, Allie? Dear Allie, my my girlfriend always wants to use toys in bed. I'm okay with it once in a while, but it makes sex seem dirtier and less intimate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it a sign that I should pay attention to that she never wants non-battery operated sex with me? <laughs> Are you, uh, well, we don't know enough. Is she? Is he being involved at all? Like, I mean, like with the toys, too. I would yeah, hope yeah. So. Okay, you think she's just making them watch. Hey, Leroy, hit the on switch. <laughs> the feet. <laughs> hey, he has to have yeah, another person. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Uh, mm, just people, talk pe to her. people like what they like. That's what yeah, she's just be yeah. thankful that she's getting yeah, off. You at least get to observe. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That's hmm. true. I mean, maybe not all the time. Maybe there should be a. A like night one designated. Hey, baby, yeah. I, hey, baby I, put, out. I put it on cruise control. I'm going to go watch the game. Good luck. Cruise control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, wow. Uh, this, this is a, a question for our, uh, uh, what's our toy, our sex toy lady. Dr. Sadie. Well, Dr. Dr. Sadie, Sadie Allison. would promote the toy part, I would think, not the intimacy part. Well, she, she would argue that the intimacy is part, it's all part of it. It's okay. all together. But I can see where he's coming from. She's I can see where product. She needs it. I, she, you're not going to, she won't get off unless she has the toys. So, you can try it without it. Try getting something really exotic that, like, requires you to use both hands just to hold it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm going to, as soon as we're done, I'm going to go <laughs> tear up the patio. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> like a yeah. jackhammer? Yeah. It's a jackhammer. <laughs> The Jackhammer 1200 with the special ladies oh, attachment. <laughs> what if she's like, ooh, bite down on this. do this all the time. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, yeah Allie, bite on my wallet while I use this on you. Allie, I'm going to tell you a very quick true story. Someone here may back me up. This is an actual thing. You can Google it. Uh, okay. do, you know what, do you know what a Sawzall is? Um, no. What's it? What's the? Is it a reciprocal saw? Yeah. Reciprocating saw. Oh, you're not gonna. Okay. Yeah. I'll, gonna I'll, tell it. I'll just give part of. This. It's it's a saw that um, uh, it moves you know, back it, and forth. It goes. It moves back and forth. Yeah. Oh, I, it, the, that it, each it, person has an end of. No, 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 no not that. No. One. It's like Sorry. a very oh. strong electric knife that you might carve right. a turkey with. Yes, exactly. that's a very good gotcha. example. Like a handheld. Right. Uh, we had a news okay. story about someone who had one of those, and they. Um, they attached a, uh, 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 a dildo-esque uh, device to it. They attached a dildo to it. Good Lord. Oh. So, all right. You follow oh. me so far? Yeah. And during yeah. the action. And during the action. But, and by the way, they, they affixed it to an actual blade. Oh. Yeah. Um, oh. So, uh, but unfortunately, during the action, the uh, I guess the adhesive it's failed. And, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was not instant good. episiotomy. Yeah, it was right. a pretty oh, rough. That. <laughs> so, so the point is, if you're going to do something like that, maybe get store bought rather than MacGyvering oh. a dildo. Oh. <laughs> that's just that's, that's today's public service. You're welcome. Let's move that on. That sounds like the porn version of the Saw movie. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. horrible. But yeah. it's yeah. real. It it's actually all, just awful. Okay, back to Allie. What else she you got? You feel good sharing that with Allie? Ruining her day? <laughs> no, I, 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 it was a public service announcement. <laughs> okay. Oh. Don't God. MacGyver sex toys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, we took well, the iron. We didn't realize that we <laughs> we bypassed iron. the safety switch. And <laughs> oh God. <laughs> she got... All right. Yeah. Let's wipe that out of our minds. Uh, dear Ellie, I am dating a guy online who has taken me on the most exciting dates I've ever been on. Oh. We've traveled almost every weekend together, and when he's at my place, he'll treat me and all my friends to dinners and going out to clubs, etc. I finally realized my friend mentioned I've never been to his place. He says it's because it's very boring and he wants to keep things exciting with me. Uh, what's going on? My friends say he's married, but I've talked to him at all hours of the night, so I don't see how that's possible. Huh. Do they live in the same city? Do they? Maybe he lives with his mom. Yeah, maybe. You know, oh, that's interesting. You have he's a lot of extra money. Yeah. If he's, if he's spending all this money, he's apparently got it. What's the problem now? He does. He doesn't she, want. He doesn't want her to come to his place. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. So she's never seen where he lives. She thinks he's married. Gotcha. But didn't you say oh, it's in... Yeah. But they go away every weekend. I don't know if they're from the same town. You're right. Yeah. It, it sounds like that. they live in different places. Oh. Yeah. That's maybe, weird. Maybe, maybe he lives in a really boring place. But well, yeah. he's exciting himself, you know? Like, shouldn't that be enough? What are you asking he's us for? something. Talk to him. He is hiding something. Leave us alone. No, she said yeah, that he said it's just because it's boring. She should air tag him. Well, obviously. Throw an air tag oh, on him and see what's on. going on. Yeah. Air tag him. Yeah. Wait, but yeah. Josh, don't act like you don't love that idea. I do not. <laughs> but Josh has a great idea. I didn't even air tag my idea. kids. Josh has a great idea. The new Ann Landers column. Hey, none, don't ask us any questions. <laughs> Mind your own business. Stop writing well, what, me. What do you want from us? How are we supposed to know what this guy's thinking or where he lives? Talk to him. Next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be a very effective column. This is kind of a cool mystery. Yeah. I'm kind of wondering what's going on. Yeah, yeah. maybe he does it live is. at home. I like that scenario. Maybe he lives with it. Like and I said, he's embarrassed because he's living with his parents again or something. Yeah. But maybe, you know, maybe his mom has something weird going on and... Oh, what if she's maybe. actually dating a 16-year-old who lives at home? He's just pretending that he's a, oh, a he's man. He's really mature for his age. Uh, what just yeah, happened? Exactly. I, you know, I, mean, I don't know why you have That's to make funny. it a sexier story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Dear Allie, my girlfriend pays all the bills and fully supports me. She often doesn't want to have sex, and if I push the issue, she starts to bring that up that oh, I don't contribute. Oh, my God. I told her those two things shouldn't be related, and if the genders were reversed, I'd get in trouble for basically trying to equate sex with money. What should I do? <laughs> Break up with this person. Yes, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I mean, my guess is she's probably exhausted from having two jobs to support your <laughs> yeah. pathetic ass. Now, yeah, why is she supporting him? We don't know. He could be on. He could really be looking for jobs. We don't know. He could be a writer. Not looking real hard. You've been around yeah. lately. <laughs> you, can't walk, you can't walk into a building without a help wanted sign. Oh. <laughs> you gotta try harder to seduce her. It sounds like if you're not working, you've got more time on your hands to make it. You know, fancy. Yeah, you got all day. A MacGyver yeah. something to find that thing. Yeah, figure it out. Yeah. Maybe yeah. do a dish. <laughs> something get something a, to show. Get a job. We don't know anything about it. No. But we do know that you're following Chick's advice. Use sex as a weapon. Oh, yeah, you have to. Yeah. Always. That's right. Hmm. Well, Sorry to hear it. Okay, good luck. Sucks to be you. Now leave us alone. One more time. <laughs> Stop writing us letters. Uh, Allie Breen is our guest. A L L I B R E E N on the variety of they social stopped media platforms. Stop writing us letters. We won't have a second. Uh, well, of course. That's sort of okay. What else? Well, we, we barely have one now. <laughs> really. What else have we got, Allie? Dear Allie, my boyfriend used to be obsessed with porn and is now obsessed with OnlyFans. The porn thing didn't bother me, but the OnlyFans thing has him interacting with girls in a way that I consider cheating. He says there's no difference. He also goes to strip clubs and that's way more intimate and I'm just acting crazy. Who is correct here? Ooh, this is I a think Josh. OnlyFans is more intimate if you're actually yeah. communicating back and forth. If you're just watching TV, they don't know you. Right. They're like anyone that's yeah. watching, good for you. I so think that's a fair weird. point, but, uh, but rest assured... Uh, there have been some recent articles about OnlyFans <laughs> <laughs> that are showing that he's not talking to the girl. Oh, that's true. He's <laughs> talking to a dude in a cubicle. Yeah, an AI generated. Yeah. 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 So, hey, Marty, you got any more menthols? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, got, I got a hot one online, got, too. Right, this guy keeps tipping me. I got to keep pretending I'm this chick. Oh. Yeah, so he's one of these morons that think these women actually like him. That's the problem. Well, he may even be into it. He may not, you know, He, but, yeah. I don't. But if she's this upset about it, you're right, Chip. You should probably talk about Does he have a job? He should respect it. At least of if course. he's got a job, he's better than the last loser. <laughs> right. <laughs> also, if she was okay with him going to strip clubs, that is more. I mean, you're actually interacting with the person at a strip club. Yeah. But it sounds sure. like she didn't I, like the strip clubs either, though, right? She, that's not a neutral, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it did sound like that was part of the that's okay thing. Yeah. Only fans really bothers her. Hmm. I'm yeah, with, I'm with Josh though. I don't think that's a problem because I don't think a lot of those. <laughs> that anyone's are... talking to the real person. Yeah, might be nice to. Because remember, Ellie, when you start yours, the guys will actually that's... be talking to me. Oh, that's right. Going to exactly. Right. People might actually subscribe to talk to you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. So After I... hearing this, I don't maybe. Need... 
All right, so just pictures of you. Yeah, look at yeah. Allie, talk to Josh. Right. <laughs> yeah, just call it that. Not a bad now, would, that, would the guys, then, would they be talking to you about the pictures of Allie? I could talk to them about well, anything. Well, they would be saying, hi, Allie, how are you today? And I would write back, I'm great. I just bought some new high heels, that kind oh, of thing. Oh, that would you like works. To, would you like to see pictures? And if they go, yes, here's 10 bucks, I'd have to quickly text Allie. Send me, quick, send me pictures of your high heels. <laughs> <laughs> and Allie, you said there is one comedian who is doing OnlyFans. Uh, oh, I'm sure there's a few, but there's one that I know that's how's it going? done OnlyFans. That's she's making so much money. Is she I mean, is she her... posing in uh, provocative poses with no clothes on? Or oh yeah, I think she goes full out for sure. Yeah, because she has jokes about how everyone has seen every part of her in the crowd, oh. pretty oh. much. Yeah, this is an open yeah. mic. Where, where you see? It's, <laughs> Rose, it's Roseanne. <laughs> you know, no, it's just <laughs> shows that are all naked comedy shows. Have you guys seen those? What? They no. have those in New York. Oh, yeah. no kidding. They have all Have naked? you never seen that, Josh? No, we've talked to comedians who've done nudist uh, yeah, nude, colony shows, yeah. but oh, uh, colony. never an actual nude show like in New York and City. And at the nudist places, they have the option. Right. But right. these people are nude on stage. They're nude on stage. Is yeah. the audience yeah. nude yeah. as well? Phenomena. Is the audience nude as well? No, no, no. I no. actually did oh. go... It was a bad. It was Louis Anderson. Oh. I wish I had. Uh, <laughs> oh. I wish I'd gone a different time. That was a while ago. Huh? Wow. <laughs> you had a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Notice what? you have bad teeth, or you're too busy never forget staring it, at his but... sack. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I Allie. Uh, people can reach you. A L L I B R E E N for sexy time. Send us your troubles. Yes. I'm not sure if we helped anybody today, but we tried. Thank you. Yeah. Are, yeah, you, are you working this weekend, Allie? Yep. I'm in the city. I'm uh, I'm at the QED Comedy Club, actually, in Long Island City. Oh, All right. The daily, yeah, isn't that a daily dose thing? thing? Uh, QED? Uh, I don't, I should Pharmacies know Pharmacies write that for, for like, take every day. no idea. Oh, do they? Oh. Very, very smart over here. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Stupid, stupid hey, thanks, smart. Allie. Always <laughs> thanks, great. Allie. Bye. Uh, right now, this, uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show, and it's brought to you by our friends at BetterHelp. How's it going, 2024? You're rocking it. It's going great. You're crushing it. Well, we've uh, kind of do a little shift. Everybody does it uh, after after the new year arrives. And uh, one of the things you can help yourself with is that uh, space in your head. And that's where therapy comes in. And BetterHelp has a really good idea. And that is taking contemporary technology and taking advantage of it in the world of therapy. The way it works is you fill out a brief questionnaire. You'll get matched with a licensed therapist. You can switch therapists if you want to anytime. And um, the therapy itself is done online, which means it's a lot more convenient. It's uh, very flexible. And the, the idea is that this is, uh, suits your schedule. So it's about helping you. And you don't have to get in a car and drive to a place and sit there in the room and go through all that. It's very quick. And you're going to be doing the therapy, as I said, online. And you can do it like a Zoom call or you can do it just like you're on the telephone or you can do it like you're uh, texting back and forth. Whatever works for you. That's the beauty of BetterHelp. Find out what I'm talking about and celebrate the progress you've already made in 2024 with therapy. Visit BetterHelp.com slash BT Show today. That'll knock 10% off your first month when you add that slash BT Show. BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash BT Show. Coming up, we have something delicious in history. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out there for you on our YouTube channel. Watch and subscribe. Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Our guest in the studio is comedian Bert Kreischer, and uh, Bert is um, a veteran of the world of the party. He was uh, voted the number one party animal in the country by Rolling Stone magazine. Uh, Quite an honor. Many yeah, years ago. Honor. Mm -hmm. And uh, you carry the mantle to this day. Yeah. You're now the, I guess you'd be the, what, uh, party animal uh, ex officio, what would the, uh, uh, what I is the Party title? animal cum laude. Guru, maybe? Mm -hmm. Guru to young boys, Could probably. Could be a guru. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you'd be uh, Maybe not. No, you, you, you said you have two young daughters. Yeah, which is pointless because I have no advice for little girls. Uh -huh. Do you have advice for 
young men. I have tons of advice for young men. Are you really? kidding me? Really? Yeah. Is this college age men going yeah. to? Well, it's like it's like well, you have a you have sons, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, and you know all the things. Do you have any girls? Yes. Oh, mm-hmm. see, and you got nothing to t- to tell a little girl. Mm-hmm. Well, so far, they they're in charge. They know what's going on. So. Yeah. I said uh, I remember the first night we got my daughter, or not got her, but had her, or you know whatever. <laughs> I know. Right. And she was crying real bad, and the nurse was like. Um, the nurse goes, comes in, and she's, you know, and wrapped up like a joint in a box. Uh-huh. Uh, I guess. That's what yeah, they get. Uh-huh. And uh, mm. the nurse comes in. and she, you are That's what I thought it was. You are, <laughs> you are a party animal. Like that. <laughs> she was like, uh, she was like, let's, uh, what, are you, what have you done? I was like, nothing. Mm-hmm. She goes, what are you, you going to do? I was like, I'll put a towel over her face and cut the oxygen in half. I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> and she goes, here's what you do. Take her head, put it by your heart, take your pinky, place it on her lower lip. Uh-huh. And allow her to draw it in. That'll calm her down. Uh-huh. So I do it. And sure enough, as soon as I put it on her lower lip, my daughter draws it in like she's trying to rip the nail off. Just uh-huh. I'm like, we're stopping this tonight. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm not raising a daughter where that is her coping mechanism. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, uh, she gets a little spooked. Yeah. Just, uh-huh. you know, no, thank you. Uh-huh. Okay. But I was very, I was massively unpre- unprepared for d- girls. I just didn't know. I never even listened to women. Mm. I listened Literally, I, the only advice I got, like, and this uh, for boys, mm-hmm. you ever get into a fight with a girl? This works every time. I did this with my wife. Twelve words. You are right. I am wrong. I love you, honey. You win. And you squash it. Really? You take her in your arms, you carry her into the bedroom, and you cuddle like a team. Mm. Like a like a unified, like a coalition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Scratch her back and let her go to sleep together, happy. She won. Mm-hmm. And that night while she's sleeping, <laughs> cut her hair. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot, just uh, a little just bit so, so you know you won. <laughs> <laughs> Great advice for a boy, uh, unapplicable for a girl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bert Kreischer's our guest. I'm glad we have this on tape because oh, you're going to be dead God. very soon, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm looking to use that as evidence, I think. Yeah, they're oh. gonna be, you're going to be uh, yeah. wheeled, out of, your, you wheeled out of your own home in a gurney. <laughs> no, I have no idea. Oh. It's forever, right? What am I counting the days for? You think guys doing life? Prison count the days? I don't think so. (laughs) You do your time. I'll do mine. (laughs) Oh, no, I got out. Uh, You got out? Yeah. Uh, I escaped. (laughs) Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Spider Vane Woman got her powers from working as a waitress for 17 years. Don't make Spider Vane Woman show you her legs because if she has to, she will. Look at this one. Uh, I think I'm going to puke. Oh, here, hold my purse. I'll show you my hysterectomy scar. When you need help, call on the only superhero who wears long polyester pants, comfortable support hose, and sensible shoes. She's Spider Vane Woman. Coming soon to a theater near you. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Essential Morning Radio. This is Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7, 24-7. Bob and Tom Show. Uh, hello, this is Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Uh, yeah. Hello, calling, visiting, uh, listening to show. We're visiting, visiting with uh, comedian Frank Caliendo. He was just talking about Raymond Burr. Oh, Frank Caliendo. 
John Madden. <laughs> yes. Does the John Madden. Uh-huh. Very yeah. good. He, he was doing his impression of the uh, fabulous actor Raymond Burr. You're Mr. Burr, of course. Perry Mason. Side, yes. Actually, it was interesting because we were talking about uh, one of uh, Mr. Burr's earliest films. Uh, of course, the legendary you want to, the film. Not familiar with Uri Raven Burr. Yes, I was in Godzilla. I never tell Frank, you. Uh, congratulations. You're That's here. The one millionth time we've done that bit, ladies and gentlemen. They don't say we didn't warn you. Oh, my God. There's laughter ahead. This- Coming up this summer. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. It's time now for the uh, final exam portion par- 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 of our show. <laughs> That's what I we just it. said. But Farty the- fire. Yeah. It's time now for Today in History, Tom. Somewhat controversial, this first one. Is that right? Okay. Christian K. Nelson of Iowa. Yeah. Um, uh, on this date, invented the Eskimo pie. Aww. Ooh. Well, we thank you, sir. You mean vanilla ice cream covered in chocolate? That required inventing. Uh huh. Okay. It was called the Eskimo pie. Now, was sitting right there, nobody else uh, hmm. did it. He did it. No stick. Which yeah. I don't know if you see the stick contraption and then see no stick, why would you go no stick? There is no stick on the Eskimo pie? That was the part that made it. Because I know the Klondike pie. bar has no stick. Right. The Eskimo pie does have a stick, right? Yeah. Is the Eskimo, yeah. I thought the Eskimo pie and the Klondike bar were the same thing. Well, no, the, but they've changed the name of the Eskimo pie. Okay. Oh, that's right. They have, yeah. Well, a couple years ago, um, it's now called um, Edie's Pie. That's right. E E D Y apostrophe S, the very fine ice cream group. Uh, it was awkward it? that they had. Uh, How does Edie feel about Steve? it? Yeah. yeah, that, yeah, yeah I think they had it. Steve Lawrence do the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's a gourmet. I've enjoyed Edie's oh. Pie all these years. Oh. <laughs> um, he is a gourmet. <laughs> the uh, Eskimo Pie does sound like one of those uh-huh. sex moves. I gave her the old rusty trombone. And then I gave her the old Eskimo pie. Oh, now there's a <laughs> snowplow. Oh. Right? You, you ever Eskimo kiss? Or you just, that rub, just rub, uh, noses? rub your noses no. together? Sure. Yeah. You ever uh, Eskimo French kiss where you just tongue or nostril? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Eskimo pretty pie hot, out. Uh, now it's, I guess, I, I think it's strictly Edie's pie. And I, I, that I, apparently. The, the Is folks, there a snowblower? A snowball? <laughs> Eskimos were upset or something. It's a snowball. And, snowball. Yeah, yeah um, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, uh, how about this 1935 Kruger's Cream Ale? The first beer in a can. No kidding. Really? In 1935. Huh. Oh, Karuger. <laughs> the can was made out of uh, iron. actual iron, <laughs> iron-leaded can. It's, out of, it's the safest drinking vessel available. Um, happy birthday to uh, the great Ernest Borgnine. Ah, Yes. Uh, lived lived a long life. Uh, he ninety nine, uh, right? I think he, he lived a uh, Borg ninety nine. <laughs> he was, uh, <laughs> of course, McHale and McHale's Navy. Sure, mm-hmm. sure. Marty won an Oscar. Oh yes. Um, uh, happy birthday, Aaron Neville. You have a song about him, don't you, Pat? Yeah, love her. Old shaky jaw himself. Um, uh, Neil Diamond, born on this date in 1941. Yeah. <laughs> happy birthday, Neil. It's great to see you. It's the Neil Diamond brothers. <laughs> what kind of cake would you like? Uh, America. No, I don't know. Oh, America. All right. Uh, the red, white, and blue uh, icing right, there. Cake. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the late, great Warren Zevon, known for his novelty hit, Werewolf Werewolves of, of London. Yeah, I, I don't that. consider that a novelty at all. It's so cool. Very cool, yeah. Yeah, but it's kind of, I mean, the, the rest of his songs, he wrote a bunch of really sort of good Lawyers, series. guns, and money. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's a great one. I guess he, he dealt in... Uh, a uh, female company like uh, you would not believe. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Hall of Fame numbers. Hall of Fame wow. numbers. Wow. <laughs> Hall of Fame numbers. Yeah, maybe he just didn't like the chat. Zivon. <laughs> Zivon locks his He and Linda Ronstadt, uh, and then he got tired of her. 
Oh. Was there anybody hotter than Linda Ronstadt back in the day? I don't Gorgeous. think so. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. Cub Scout uniform. Oh, jeez. Tom, Tom Griswold out of the woodwork. <laughs> All right. Remember that famous photograph of her in the Cub Scout uniform? I'll have to look it up. I don't oh, think it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> well, it did. They pushed well, a button. If I look Tom. up Linda Ronstadt Cub Obviously. Scout uniform, I'm on a list, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're already on the list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. What am uh, I doing here? Do you know who this guy is? Uh, born in 1970, Matthew Lillard. Matthew yeah. Lillard? That's one of Alsman's biggest crushes. Top five. Who is that? I don't even know. Shaggy in the Scooby-Doo. Oh, okay. Ed Helms, very fine actor. I love Ed Helms. Uh, From plays uh, plays a great middle-aged white guy. Cedar Rapids? Yeah, Yeah, he's a middle-aged white guy. That's why he plays a great middle-aged white guy. There she is. There's Linda in the Boy Scout uniform. It's a Cub Scout uniform. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's a a famous picture of her. I didn't just make it up. We talked about this again. Oh! <laughs> Makes me want to buy popcorn. The Bills uh, <laughs> losing to the Chiefs over the weekend. The Bills Mafia donated uh, big bucks to help kid, uh, cats and kittens in the Buffalo area, Western New York, when Tyler Bass. That's nice. Out. He's a big cat. But cat. we also found out that the sound that Chick made during his prostate exam. Can you play the uh, South mm-hmm. Korean announcer? Oh! Now here's Chick. Uh, this is Chick when he got his prostate. Oh! <laughs> See, it's, it's yeah. very close. Pretty Who close. says timing is everything? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sand cats look like kittens uh, even when they're grown up. Aww. And they're uh, <laughs> vicious creatures. <laughs> Uh, Roy Wood Jr. is out on tour. Ca- catch him if he's in your uh, area. He's, you will not be disappointed. Uh, it's hard to make friends when you're over 40. That's from Roy Wood Jr. And uh, by way of Tom Griswold. Tom's always told me that. And he could not be more correct. Uh, let's see. Roy did get invited to a week-long sex party with yeah. uh, some professionals. Isn't right? that well, something? In the adult cinema world. He, he did not attend. Would you know. go? Me? I don't know. The sex fine. The 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 company, a lot of chatter. I'm sure. <laughs> hey Josh, you, you, Josh, you didn't bring a date. Can you hold the camera again? All right. Uh. Somebody got any? Anybody got any spray? This room starting to smell like gas. <laughs> Christy had an extensive uh, report about the cheesy penis that we were all yeah. uncomfortable with. Oh, and, that was gross. Uh, yeah. Smegma. We talked about the <laughs> doomsday clock and some of the people that work it. The doomsday That's right. clock. And, um, <laughs> I'm going to go there break. so I can be the bully and tell that this? one guy with the blue shirt his button's undone. The doomsday clock, if you look at the upper right, there's a snooze button. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that goes, right? Yeah, when it goes off, we're going to be okay. Uh, right. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.